Hello baby gangsters, this is Calvin, also known as Romer, and this is my first ever playthrough of Genshin Impact. And today we're doing something that's been requested for quite a bit, and that is reading the voice lines for characters that we have met in this game. Um, we have finished We Will Be Reunited, which means that we are moving on very soon to the next quest, which is A Path Through the Storm, which is the Chapter 2 Prologue, which is basically cha almost starting Chapter 2. It's basically the start of Chapter 2. Um, we do have some story quests to do still. And we will be doing those before we go on to Inazuma. We have Zhongli's, Ganyu's, Albedo Zhao's, Hu Cao, and Yula. Now, here's my promise to you guys. I feel like I don't mind doing it this way the way I'm doing it. We're going to be doing a bunch of story quests in a row. And by that I mean literally over the next week. In the next week's episode, it's going to be like all story quests. From Thursday to Sunday, it's going to be all story quests for Zhongli, Ganyu, Albedo, Zhao, Hu Cao, Yula. All story quests basically. And the reason for that is because I think we just like kind of like we're so focused on doing a lot of exploration, which we still will be doing. But I think it's going to be okay in the next chapter when we do, or the next chapter when we do, um, uh, so what, what quest do you have to defeat? say to do this? You have to defeat the chapter two prologue. So these are like stuff they unlock after the chapter two prologue. So we're kind of, kind of, kind of sprinkle them out a little bit more and maybe do them like in between each part. Like if we've done a bit of exploration, we'll do a story quest. We'll do more exploration, we'll do a story quest. Because I find, I find that like Liyue was gigantic. I imagine that Inazuma is going to be like even slightly bigger, but we'll see. Uh, we're going to be reading the voice lines today. Then next week, we're going to be starting with Xiao, Albedo, Zhongli's quest. Um, all we have to do is just do daily commissions every day and we can unlock these little quests. Now, we might not be able to do every single one of them next week. I'm not promising that, but we will be doing uh, not much story quests for the next while so we can do some story quests before we go to Inazuma. So let's not waste any more time with this. And let's go into the voice lines for the characters we have. And so we're going to start with, I guess the ones we're going to do is we're going to do officials. Xiao's. Zing Xiao. Jean. Uh, we're not going to do Eula's because we haven't met her yet, but we will do hers after a story quest. Um, Bennett. The Wanderer, who is now named Aether. <laughs> um, and I think Razor. Gaumin. Barbara. Uh, who else here? Kaya. Lisa. Amber. And Shangling. I think that's probably the best bet. And if we ha if we see any names we don't recognize, we will not do those little quests. You need an apple. Adorable, adorable. So we'll start with officials. Go down to profile. And we have the voice lines for this character. Um, so they are quite a bit. There's a quite a few voice lines, but I think it's kind of fun. We haven't listened to these voice lines. We've just gone through them. So what? Do you unlock these? You unlock the French Rule of Six. Yeah, we'll do the ones we have so far. So starting off with official, let's start here. I think I think these are more just like the stuff you get on the, the world map, right? Like the stuff like oh I'm I've fallen and I can't get up type stuff. Uh, let's start with uh, hello. I official princess and Durva Hertalung descend upon Her this voice land so good. by the call of fate and oh, you are also a traveler from another world. Very well, I grant you permission to travel with me. She means nice <laughs> to meet you. The translation is great. I hear the voice of fate. Speaking my name in humble supplication. That you do. <laughs> May the glory of the princessin bring light to this world. You always bring light to this world. You bring light to my world anyway. I do worry about the well-being of my retinue during my impromptu absence. I'm sure the good people. We've heard of the this one before, of course. I think the one like fine, main Fräulein. She says this sometimes when she's traveling around the place and we're exploring for too much without fighting something. I think she goes like, "Hey, I, I kind of worry about like you know." The, uh, the Adventurer's Guild. You know what's so funny is, like, Oz can understand everything. Oh, the sun's out. Oh, um, this meteorological transformation is most splendid. Like a felicitous twist of fate <laughs> in the face of certain doom. Uh, she just, uh, corrected herself. <laughs> the sun's out. Oh, my God. Oh, I mean, um, the meteorological transformation. <laughs> Hark, tis thundering retribution. An omen of dark times ahead. That and main Freulein <laughs> is still on the line. What? Seriously? Oh no! Yeah, don't don't ruin it. I love that they they constantly ruin the facade. It's awesome. A wonderful sight indeed. Why? It reminds me of my homeworld, where at the sight of the princess and Durva Ertalan, the very blood and tears of sinners turn to ice. She sneezes quite a bit. Not only their blood and tears, but also their saliva and mucus, main Fräulein. Oz? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, again, I would love to see her home world, you know? I would love to see her home world, how people are, d d blood and tears are turning to ice. Ozzy, my dear 
you're familiar. Ozzy? Yeah, Ozzy. What's, What's up with Ozzy? You? Her Majesty beseeches you to unfurl your blessed wings and with them blot out the heavens, plunging the world into eternal night. If you didn't bring your parasite <laughs> with you, that's your own fault, main Fraudine. <laughs> so basically, will you be my umbrella? <laughs> Dusk and dawn, but fleeting shadows are. Once more, the twists of fate have led you into my everlasting night. Good morning. Main Fraulein heard you'd be dropping by, so she's preparing breakfast. Oz? <laughs> to what do I owe the pleasure? I love that, like, Oz keeps up the facade as well. Like, Oz is great, you know? Even one of royal blood finds oneself susceptible to drowsiness at this hour. Yep. I, I hear ya. So this is Brittany Cox. Wait, Brittany Cox? Who's... Who, who, what are voices Brittany Cox do? The stars of Firmament are not but rifts, thrust open by Oz's beak into the boundless tapestry of darkness. You do say the strangest things, main Fräulein. And I love, I feel like Oz is like the most supportive dad ever. <laughs> Sweet shall be thy sleep, spared of the mares of the night. For no nightmares would dare draw near to those who are blessed by the Immernachreich. She means good night. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say as well, by the way. Um, when I text my friends, good night. Uh, sweet shall be thy sleep, spared of the mares of the night, for no nightmares would dare draw near those who are blessed by the Immernachreich. Me? <laughs> Remember thou this, that I, Fischl, am the princess and de Ertelung, sovereign of the Immernachreich, Omniscient and imminent judge of all the world's iniquity. She's an investigator for the Adventurer's Guild. <clears throat> that is but one of my many royal See, like, engagements. If you say so fancy enough, people will like think you're like really fancy, you know? Huh. You and I are both travelers from another world. That our paths have crossed here is no accident, but the will of fate. So she's talking to um a Aether in this in this sense. Or Lumine, depending on how you played. Oh, you inquire about my Edelstein der Dunkelheit? Hmm. It is a royal heirloom, a ceremonial ornament that displays the majesty of the Princess and Defa Ertelang before the unworthy. Even here, in this fallen world, I have been reunited with my rightful inheritance as one of royal blood and noble spirit. For the majesty of a true princess shall draw her royal heirlooms unto her wherever so she may Can roll. I say that that official saying Verteling, the Verteling, is like top 10 ASMR? If one must reckon time as this world does, I, Fischl, have already seen 3,000 winters. Not that the illusory passage of time has any bearing on one such as I, to whom the causality of 3,000 universes has been unveiled. Be that as it may, main Fräulein, you are not yet considered to be of drinking age. <laughs> this is her trying to get a drink. A no bartender can never be convinced otherwise. <laughs> okay, someone screenshot this, you know, especially in America where you have to be like 21 to drink for some reason. Oz's full name is Oswaldo von <laughs> Hafnavines. Where I hail from, he holds dominion over star and sky across three universes. And the souls of the mighty, fallen in battle, rest in the shadow of his wings. One should add that the penalty for mispronouncing his name is to have one's tongue torn from one's mouth. Jesus. However, as I am a princess and you are one who has my favor, we are at liberty to simply call him Oz. So that's why, like, it's, Oz is, sh is short for Osvaldo von... I don't want my tongue being ripped out of my... Oh, it's about Bennett! I don't want my tongue being ripped out of my head. And it was about Lisa, about Kai, about Mona, about Rosaria. This is actually pretty cool. We just met Rosaria as well in the story too, which is cool. Oh, the ill-starred young man. My Og Defa Erthalong has seen with unmistakable clarity how his heart ails at being forsaken by the world. Someone needs to keep an eye on the unlucky fellow. So that's so funny. Like, her interpretation is like, the world has failed, poor Bennett. And we're just like, Bennett's so unlucky. You know, it's, 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 it's the same thing, but like, she says it much more like magically. The Magus custodian of books, gatekeeper of universal knowledge. <laughs> oh no. When her trust in one may yet gain access to a vast repository <laughs> of wisdom. She means, as long as you return your first few <laughs> library books on time. You'll never have any trouble borrowing a book again. <laughs> She's like, yeah, you just return your books. <laughs> his nature is obscure. His fate a mystery. 
and his speech a vexing tapestry woven of both fact and fiction. Perhaps he and I share the burden of mystical sight. Or perhaps he's secretly an actual pirate. True. True. He is a pirate of some kind. Ah, uh, yes. Mona. The mighty astrologer. Mona, who once had the vanity to probe the fate of the Princess de Ertelung herself. She wound up a trembling wreck. Overborn no. and overmastered. No. <laughs> the poor lass was trying desperately not to no. laugh. No. <laughs> it was no easy task. So, so Mona predicted her future and saw something like incredibly hilarious about to happen to the princess and... and <laughs> and she started laughing her head off and said, Fischl is so delusional sometimes that she saw it as, ah, she was just like trembling. She was a, a big trembler. One finds Sister Rosaria to be a most devout believer in the animal oh, is she? archon. I didn't know that. Devout believer, main Fräulein? Indeed. One night I heard her invoking the name of the archon thus in another's presence. <clears throat> oh May my you God. be struck down in the name of Lord Bartibus. One presumed that she was leading a prayer. I don't think that's. I think that's a swear. I think that's she, their version of like a like a like, f you on God. <laughs> you know, um, I'm trying not to look at the text. I'm just listening into what the audio is because I think it's funny you're hearing in their voice lines than me reading it out. Uh, but sometimes I do get a glimpse of it. Um, yeah, Rosaria. Um, I don't. Yeah, I think she is the type to like swear people or maybe like or curse people out of it. it Does sound like she's cursing people out of it. So this is about Fischl herself. To condemn the guilty, to sanctify the just, and to draw all castaway dreams into the embrace of the infinite Immernachreich. This is the birthright of the Princess in Ertelong, and her burden. None may gainsay it. My left eye. It is the oh, all-seeing Alg de Ertelung, which reveals all that is true in the world. As to the question of why I conceal it, well, would you willingly bear the agony of piercing to the heart of all truths? Furthermore, the world would lose much of its appeal if wholly stripped of delusion and falsehood. I'm not sure if this is actually what happens if she takes off her eye patch, but she's right. Like, like, I don't know if this sounds so depressing, but half of the world being like amazing to people is like delusion. You know, it's like a lot of like a lot of, you know, you know, what's that line from Kenny? Everyone needs to be drunk on something to get through life. I, I do agree. I do agree. Storm terror? Why, one never would have thought that a being that one might have kept as her pet could, in this world, be capable of causing such calamity. <sighs> Pitiable are the incompetence of this world. That said, main Fräulein, were you not beside yourself with worry for everyone's safety during said calamity? Th that is because the Princess in de Ertelung has the solemn duty to safeguard the souls of all, be they petty beings or not. Yeah, so like, it's cool to hear her like actually think about Storm Terror, like, because she was, she would have been around at the time, she's a part of the Adventurers Guild, she's a big, you know, mainstay in Mondstadt as well. You know, she goes to the Cat's Tale just like anyone else. Um, so it is cool to hear about, like, her thoughts on, uh, Storm Terror. Some people address her by other names, but to me, the one who gave me life and bestowed my powers upon me is Fischl, and none other. All things considered, Fischl is the name... You can tell how much he, like, he, he, he like, adores her. Seriously, don't call her anything else, or... Oh, how one's royal ears do burn. Pray tell. What is the matter which you discuss so furtively? Mid Midnight Phantasmagoria, main Fräulein. And the majesty of the Varutalong name. Yeah, it's it's also like, I think it's very clear that Oz has like a lot of admiration for this girl. And that makes sense. You can hear it in like, even in their battles, when they're battling together, like there definitely is a lot of admiration for her. I, Fischl, have roamed the galaxy and traversed countless worlds. I have learned the fate of 10,000 universes and have had revealed unto me the destiny of every living soul. That's your hobby? That's your hobby? Oh no, you have to ask Oz what her hobby is. Fräulein reads a lot of <laughs> My name, Oz, is from one of her So favorites. she like, so by the way, Oz probably doesn't have a name that will get your tongue ripped out, but he, I think she just said that as a way to like, she, she can't maybe pronounce it very well. I don't know, that's really funny. So she picked a name for a light novel for Oz. What does it take to rile a princess? That's hilarious. If you must know, it is those who cannot recognize my true identity. 
But it is no great loss, for solitude is the noble's lot, so long as I do not lose the nobility of my soul. Solitude is good. Solitude is good. Sometimes. <sighs> what is food but the shackles of mortal flesh? But if the princess and Defer Ertelung should reckon any morsel worthy, then it must be the tears of sinners and the tongues of liars. <laughs> Has Mame Fräulein <laughs> lost her appetite for the Mitternacht brought the Summernacht cartons? Uh, that is merely to provide mine earthly vessel with such sustenance as yeah. it must require to perform its yeah. duties. She's, she's into the tongue of liars. Get it right. I believe I know the answer to this one. Indeed you do, Oz. Her that voice acting is so fun. Coil, mutilated by bondage unnatural. It will never again fly as I do. Deprived of the humble quaff with which it was born to gaze in awe at the majesty of its monarch. Surely it is a glimpse of my homeworld's hell in the flesh. Hmm. The name of the dish escapes me. Something something madame. Oh, it was a sweet madame? Which is actually like a very popular dish here in um in Genshin. Such an exquisite delicacy is worthy of being served in the garden Sansusi. Main Fräulein says that she thoroughly enjoys your delicious cooking. What's so cool about this is that he's translating, but also they have translator books for official, and she's so good at her job that they just like have to like they're like, yeah, like and she's awesome. We'll try we'll translate her stuff. To vanquish the beast of the world, one must first rise above mundane desires, thus weaving the path that leads to destiny. And yet, on this occasion, you appear to have eaten your fill, main Fräulein. We picked a really good backdrop here with the Mondstadt music to listen to, to have this playing. Ugh. Why dost thou insist on raining down chaos and destruction in the presence of your princessin? Main Fräulein does not care a great deal for this dish. My apologies. My magic arrow cries out my holy name as it streaks through the night, praying that the violet lightning of retribution shall strike the enemies of fate down from the skies. Quite awe-inspiring, main Fräulein. Since it's nearly dinner time, perhaps you might shoot a pigeon down while you're at it. Yeah. <laughs> With this, oh, I may more fully manifest my majesty as Princess and Defer Ertelung, and defeat that sworn enemy of fate. I've gone back reality. to reading the lines with them, by the way, because it's, got, be it's way too hard just to listen. The Adventurers Guild, main Fräulein. That's what our world has become. Rejoice, else tremble in fear. Whence forth springs this call to mirth and misery? You ask. Let it be known that I, the Princess and Defer Ertelung, sovereign of the Imernachrash, have peered forth with my Imernachrash eye into the tapestry of fate that doth make up the universe. And beheld its every warp, weft, and dangling orphaned thread. Well, you're amazing. So I was shooting at the world beast, ones he charges. Those other ones we have to like get over. These ones we won't do because they are just like ones we hear every single day. So there's not point in doing those. Uh, Zhao, we're gonna be doing your voice reacts. I'd like to like. I think actually we got to learn a lot more about uh, Fischl. We did. Like we know a lot more about Fischl now. Um. I feel we think we know Fischl now. First of all, like the light novel stuff, uh, the fact that Oz is such like like admires her to death, and like and not only that, but Fischl also just doesn't even understand Oz's name fully, and renamed Oz herself. It's all it's all very sweet. I think we now fully uh, we understand Fischl a lot better. If you awake to a knife at your throat, if monsters dig their claws into you, if death comes knocking at your door, call out my name, Adeptus Xiao. I will be here when you call. Yeah. Get him! Reduced to just standing around. We heard this one a million times. How absurd. The damned will sooner die again than lay a hand on me. Now, is it just the damned who aren't allowed to lay a hand on you? <sighs> oh, we've heard this one for sure. Memories. So dark. Yeah. He does this randomly if he's like, he's standing around as well. Demons do not stop for the rain. Move. Yeah. The rain stopped. I don't concern myself with the weather. Yeah. <laughs> Many mortals fear lightning. Incomprehensible. Fear of something so common. Yeah, well, like you are an adeptus, so. Once the snow is thick enough. Yeah, this is my favorite light. This like this dude is going around saying, "I'm just gonna eat the snow." <laughs> We're wasting time. Let's go. Lunch. We'll go back to Wangshu Inn. <laughs> 
See, this is good. I, I haven't heard this one before. This is, like, really cool because it's him basically being like, Hey, like, I'm hungry too. And this is a really good place for food. It's really cool to see that he... And he does hang around Wang Shuan in fairness. He, we know he does. Night. When the darkness comes to envelop you. Don't stay outside. This is always good, good uh, advice. Go. I'll be here. I'm far from human. I can't make much of human emotions. Liyue is changing. Rapidly. Forget it. It means nothing to me. So, and this is, this is what's cr crazy, like, an interesting character, always, and this is something that, like, I read, and, and young people are like, well, you haven't read in a book. There's a book I read called Into the Woods uh, that is about story writing and things like this. And one of the things that, like, I remember reading when I was, like, like much younger that, like, always stuck with me is, like, an interesting character will say something and mean something completely different. Um, and, like, him saying, Leo is changing rapidly, dot, dot, dot. Forget it. It means nothing to me. We know that this dude in Liyue's hour of need not only saved everyone, helped save everyone, but jumped in to save everyone. This dude does, on some level, care about Liyue. And this one's cool too, by the way. Not, not being able to make much of a human emotions. Uh, Zhao is very much, like, I feel like separate. When he's even in my party, I treat him as like any other human, but like, he is definitely, he acts differently to every other character in my, tar in my parties. If a day comes where even you are taken by the darkness, it will be up to me. Oh no, Zhao, I'm taken by the darkness. Oh me, he means he's gonna take over for me. Okay, sorry. <laughs> he's not gonna save me. Visions? Desire? <laughs> Do not judge Adepti by your mortal ideals. I have no desire. I deal in death. If you cannot bring yourself to kill, speak my name. He's like, hey, I'll, I'll kill you, man. Don't worry about it. Dihua Islet was once deserted. Though that was many decades. No, centuries ago. Can I ask? Zhang Li, what does he do with his days? Huh? Birds? Antiques? Flowers? Hmm. What deeper meaning do they hold? What's so funny is he, the way he says this is very, like, like, very human-like, you know? It's like, almost like it, 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 he weaves in and out. He's like, can I ask what John Lee does with his days? Birds? An antiques? Flowers? I, like, I think he's like, you know, the reason why they put this in for sure is because Zhang Li... You know, his whole character is finding that, you know, things that don't have a deeper meaning sometimes. Even though flowers can have a deeper meaning and birds can have a deeper meaning. But finding love in the mundane aspects of life is what Shang Li was able to do. And he loves that aspect of life. And then, of course, maybe, like, other adeptus couldn't understand that totally. We haven't met Baidu yet. Um, so we might skip that one. Want We've met her, but we haven't met her perfectly. To take away my pain. I understand your intentions. But mortal medicine has no effect on adepti. Uh, nothing. A hug always works. We haven't met Ho Tao. Venti? So that's the name he goes by. His tunes are... Uh, forget it. Do you, do, you, do you like them or do you hate them? Cast a vote in the comments. <laughs> do you like... Does he like them or hate them? I think he probably doesn't like them very much. Ganyu. Ganyu is neither mortal nor illuminated beast. Wandering both the mortal and adepti realms with duty as her sole guide. It was inevitable that she would become perplexed. What, me? You believe a Yaksha who knows nothing more than how to massacre countless souls and emerge unscathed is a suitable mentor for such an individual? <laughs> your mind occupies a very different world from that which your body inhabits. It seems Shenhe places a great deal of trust in you. Well, how could she not? There are few people in the world as kind and good-natured as you. So she's calling, uh... By the way, the Ganyu stuff, I think we're going to learn about more about what we'll go forward. That's why I'm kind of like, okay, maybe we'll wait until we get forward. But yeah, like, um... Like... Is he calling us... Wait, is he calling us kind? I think he's calling us kind. That's not so sweet. <laughs> yeah, I think he's calling us kind. I've heard that she once investigated the chasm, following the trail of the Millilith. I don't know who Yellen is. Sorry. I'm willing to protect you. Maybe I do, but don't I don't remember the name. Getting close and stay out of my way, 
or all that awaits you is regret. One second, though. Excuse this is look at this. Places a great deal of trust in you. Well, how could she not? There are few people in the world as kind and good natured as you. <laughs> he genuinely thinks we're kind, which is probably why he saved us in the end. I'd say. In the thousands of years that have passed, I have taken countless rates. If you want no trouble, stay away from me. See me as a weapon, and nothing. It's more. so interesting about her, her. His voice lines are so like they're not as nearly as long as the princess and. and their voices, I can always hear them. Their screams, their cries, <sighs> demanding more death. This is my burden to carry. It has nothing to do with you. He definitely is troubled. There's We've seen this in his, in his voice lines before. Having the courage to ask about my hobbies. So, fight me. <laughs> How long do you think your body will last against my blows? <laughs> Trouble? <laughs> Trouble means nothing to Adepti. There is no trouble that can last for a thousand years. I still can't get over that he's like, what are my hobbies? Let's fight. <laughs> I have no interest in mortal food. Cooking is tedious and the wait is long. The one thing I can manage to stomach is almond tofu. So you love a bit of almond tofu. That's what he's saying. That's a translation right there. The taste of almond tofu feels like a fond dream. This boy loves almond tofu. Wait. I am expected to place slices of meat and wrappings myself and then eat them together? Ugh. Humans these days do not know what they are Is doing. he talking about a sandwich? Yeah, honestly, a lot of effort. Just eat the meat. Grab it. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Mm, not bad. Why are you staring at me? Because the person wants a kiss. Uh, no no need, need, he says. <laughs> Try something else next time. <laughs> this is it. Nothing worth getting excited about. New power. All it will be used for is death. The limit to one's power is self-destruction. Answer me. Why do you persist? So he's basically like, hey, yo, like, the more I level up, the worse it gets for me. And the worse it gets for everyone around me. I am just building up my own destruction and self-destruction. But we're just like, level, they send them, boys. They send them. They send them. Sing Cho, at your service, my liege. I humbly trust that even one such as I, a mere bookworm, may yet prove to be of some utility under your wise leadership. Nice. I don't often get a chance to speak with such formality. <laughs> It felt pretty good. Yeah. Just to feel, finish up on Xiao's voice acting, what we learned from Xiao's uh, voiceover is that Xiao is um, a very tortured soul. He is clearly in a lot of pain and thinks about the past a lot. He always talks about memories and fondness of memories or maybe not fondness of memories and how food gives him back memories. He's also, like, not very social, which is fine. You know, he doesn't have to be social. We love him nevertheless. Um, but it's very clear he also thinks that we're a kind person, which to me is amazing. It was on a deserted, moonlit night that the hero approached the vile dragon's limpid lair. I agree. Whatever you're saying, I agree. I never embark on a journey without a good book to accompany me. True. <sighs> now, this is what I call a moment of solitude. He, like, really enjoys, like, the idea of, like, being alone, though. Like, every time we've seen him, he's, like, been in, like, a corner somewhere. You know, whenever we meet him, he's always, like, in a corner. Uh, and, like, whenever he's talking to people, like, you know, he, I think he genuinely probably is thinking about reading a book somewhere else. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Wow. Huh? All will be revealed in the next volume? Oh, drat. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I haven't read manga in a while, but that like that was always like really like, you know, an interesting thing to deal with, wasn't it? All will be revealed next time. If my calculations are correct, Wanwen Bookhouse is due to receive a batch of new releases today. Might we add a small detour to our adventure? Always. My family makes ornate umbrellas that block neither rain nor shine. Their sole purpose is for decoration upon a wall. He's just letting us know we're not going to my house <laughs> to hang out. <laughs> Good. The rain has stopped. Any longer, my books would have gotten wet. Yeah, we don't want your books getting wet. Oh 
Only when it snows like this would I prefer to be at home than in a bookstore. Or there is a well-stocked fireplace at home, while there is no fire allowed in bookstores. True. I mean, I can, I, I've seen some bookstores with, like, a fake fire, for sure. Um, my local has one of those. But, like, I imagine that, like, uh, you know, in, especially in these times, you wouldn't want a, a book near an open fire. Great weather for practicing martial arts, but perfect weather for reading. Hey, what's that ridiculous look for? You look as if you're trying to decipher some strange text written on my forehead. Because, uh, I think it's probably just because you compared reading to martial arts, maybe. Morning. The morn hours are oh. practicing. Morning. Isn't that... Morning. That's the sweetest morning I've ever heard in my life. Morning. Morning. The morn hours are precious. Spend them on that which matters to you. So all of you guys matter to me. I am uninclined to eat a heavy meal this luncheon, but instead indulge in some baked treats. As long as I eat in the study, my father and brother never have to know. Oh, you want to join me? Well... As long as you don't get crumbs on the books, I suppose it's fine. So he cares about those books, man. <laughs> He's like, don't be eating over my goddamn books. So he talked as well about, like, um, my father and brother. Who's his father? His father's probably, uh, well, obviously someone we don't know, but he does have a full family. Um, okay. What say you we snatch a few fireflies and read in the light they give? <laughs> hey, I'm joking. Seriously, don't. It's bad for your eyesight. <laughs> So, yeah, it is actually not good for your eyesight to focus on one small light uh, in the darkness. It's actually not good. And this was taught to me by, like, um, like one of my friends when I was a kid when we were at a sleepover and, like, the, the power went out in the home and it was dark and we were like, what if we just watch this portable DVD player? And he's like, it's so bad for your eyes to watch something that small of a light in the darkness. It will literally strain your eyes. And, yeah, it's true. Um, very smart boy. You will find me in the same place as ever tomorrow. So I'll see you then. Unless you manage to get lost on the way. I always get lost in your eyes. I always have to put on an act around other people. Because they see me as only the second son of the Feiyun Commerce Guild. It's a relief that I can just be myself around you. I think it's because you don't see me in the same That's way. That's so sweet. That's so sweet. And like, I feel like a lot of people, like you saw Xiao talking about how we are like super nice. How, um... Uh, Fischl has also been like, hey, like, you can call him Oz as well. I feel like characters do see us as someone they can trust. And that's really sweet. I would say we are book buddies. Huh? Combat? Guhua clan? Comrades in arms? What on earth are you talking about? I told you that's our little secret. Oh my god. I would say we are book buddies, huh? We are, we're book buddies. But book, book, book buddies. Book, book buddies. There aren't many records on matters concerning visions, but I do have a passage dedicated to the topic in my collection of ancient texts. I can lend it to you if you want. Sure. Must see places in Liyue? That's a tough question. Hmm. The place I would miss the most if it disappeared would be the Wanwen Bookhouse, first and foremost. The Guhua sect would be in the top ten, too. I love that he's like, the book house, if that goes, I'll be sad. After that, my home. <laughs> Priorities. I used to like rabbits, but I'm more a fan of stags now. To me, the saying, may my final stand be a monument to chivalry, is about abandoning worldly possessions and reaching enlightenment. But the stag's final resting place represents the hope for life anew. Oh, how I'd love to see it again. So... We're gonna skip Shang Yong. We're gonna and Beidou. As the Tianxuan, I'm obliged to respect her. Otherwise, it could create issues for my father and brother. On a personal level, let me think. Oh. I think I will go with no comment. I shan't speak ill of others. So that's by the way saying, if someone asks you like, hey, what do you think about what do you think about uh, Marcy? And you go, I don't want to talk bad about anyone. That is just you just talk bad about so. <laughs> You just, like, implicated that, like, whatever you were going to say is so bad that you didn't even want to say it. And honestly, that's actually really interesting. He does not like uh, Ningguan. When Yunjin drinks a beverage she is fond of, she will be inspired to write a new play. So, I keep a jar of tea leaves under my bed at all times, ready to deliver to her on the day that her inspiration dries up. This way, I shall never run out of heroic tales to listen to. That's awesome. The fact that he loves- he- I didn't make sense. He loves stories so much that he would be like that, right? That's awesome. I've always thought there is more to Chi Chi than meets the eye. But it's impossible to have a conversation with her when Baiju's around. 
Hmm. We could wait till Baiju makes a home call to one of his other patients and corner her. Baiju. Do you remember the Baiju gate when, like, I made fun of Baiju's outfit? And it became a whole thing for a while? Baiju gate 2024. Such a hard time for all of us. I still think about it every day. When you first spot Xiangling out and about, the first thing you should do is check the look on her face. Especially when she's just coming back from collecting new ingredients. The more excited she looks, the more dangerous it is oh? to approach. Because if she sees you, she'll force you to taste test her latest concoction. I usually get Xiong Yun to handle these situations. So I want, we, I want to do Xiong Yun's hangout session as soon as possible, because apparently they're like best friends with, uh, with, with Venti. So we will do his one as soon as possible too. Uh, Yin Yang, we haven't met yet, really. We haven't met Zhongli. My father and brother entertained that gentleman as a guest once. From the way they were acting, he must be a very high-profile figure indeed. I also heard that he directs funerals for the Adepti, so he must surely have great depth to his character. We should do some digging and see what we can find out about him. You won't, he's, he's, an, he's, a, he's a god. I find that Miss Shenhe seems to look at me somewhat fiercely, so I daren't approach her lightly. Bizarre. Did I inadvertently upset her? Or maybe upset someone close to her? He's an overthinker like me. Um, he saw someone not look at him in the right way, and he said to himself, Oh, Jesus Christ, she hates me. <laughs> she hates me. And really, like, the majority of the time, 80% of the time, everyone just has stuff going on, you know what I mean? Yelan... Who is Yelan? We haven't heard. Like, do we have. Like, is, Yel, is Yelan. I'm going to be so bad if we have a character called uh, Yelan. Gaming's work has all the trappings of a chivalric hero. Picture the scene. On a dark and moonless night, a lone young figure clad in black. I just said Chad for seconds, clad. On a secluded country road. They say his mastery of the martial arts is unparalleled, and the mythical beast by his side always does his bidding. Bandits and brigands beware, for none who challenge him come away unscathed. When he has the time, I'd love to hear more about his experiences as a guard. You should come along too. Yeah, it's actually a perfect pairing, isn't it? Someone who loves to hear stories and Gaming, who like is like probably one of the most well-traveled people in the world. Uh, I just wish he would talk more about himself, you know? Are you keeping well, my liege? If you have no other matters to attend to, might I recommend a trip to the Wangwen Book House? So who's he talking about when he says my liege? You ask why I enjoy reading in solitude? Studiousness can hardly be considered a bad habit. There's not much more to it than that. Really, your schedule is free today? Wonderful. I am ready to leave whenever you are. My book? Oh, never mind that. I can always pick up where I left off when I get back. But those in distress who need our assistance cannot afford to wait. This is definitely put here to make sure people know. Yes, he loves reading books, but he will always put the priority of helping people above others, other things. Especially since, like, um... Wait, no, we found out in one of the missions that he was, like... Like, he, him and his father and his family are actually, like... Pr a pretty freaking big deal. What was it again? They're, like, the... The something guild? Or, like, the... I think they're to do with, like, trade in, in Liyue? And things like that? Yeah, we found out that... Very early on, didn't we? Evidently, my hobby is reading. I'll read anything and everything. What's that mischievous grin for? Oh, that's between the two of us, Wait, okay? what? It's not appropriate to discuss it out loud. There's no point in bringing it up anyway. What? What's your other hobby that you can't bring up? <laughs> and a mischievous grin on our face? <laughs> what about that night, the other night? <laughs> well, let's not talk about that. <laughs> what annoys me? Hmm. Well... One day, my brother will inherit the family business. What will happen to me then? I fear my current carefree existence would... Oh, no, no, no. It's not about my status or anything like that. I don't care for that kind of thing. I think my brother is something of a simpleton, and I would probably end up having to do most of his job for him. So what he's saying is basically like, I don't care about like the status or the money. It's the fact that like I'm not going to be able to read as much books because we're going to have to do the work for him. I like baked goods and US-style seafood. Probably because I'm used to quite a bland diet at home. I hate carrots. When I was young, my mother would mash them up into... Ugh, I can't go on. Just thinking about it makes me feel sick. Rio, eat your carrots. That's a Shenmue reference. Um... 
I like carrots, if I'm being honest. Mm. I need only I love them. this delight but once for its aroma to remain forever in my memory. With cooking skills as good as yours, it'd be a waste not to open a restaurant. Wouldn't you agree? I couldn't possibly. But please, you eat your fill. I insist. Were it not for my capability, the cause that so inspires me would remain confined to the pages that extol its virtues. Had I no moral compass, my efforts would have been misguided. Doomed to grasp at shadows while missing the substance, I would have become a Philistine that seeks only violence. There is a cause that I seek to champion, yet few in Liu share my aspiration. This I have known for a long time, for it is a path I have walked for many years. So what we've learned about Xing Shou in this story is that his best friend is Shang Yong. Uh, he does not like Ning Wan, uh, but he won't talk bad about her in front of other people. He loves solitude. He loves ha having reading books by himself. It's his favorite hobby. There's a lot of food he likes here as well. But also he's worried about the, his brother taking over the family business. Um, I think it's actually pretty cool. Uh, that we get to, like, I, I feel like we're learning, like, tiny little pieces, which, again, t the tiny bits are what really, really make, like, learning about a character super fun for me, in fairness. Um, so let's go. We're gonna talk about Jean now. I am Jean, the Dandelion Knight, requesting approval to join your party. From this day onwards, my honor and loyalty lie with you. Such a great character. And the fact that we get to look at the good outfit for this whole time, you guys should thank uh, everyone, uh, the person who gave me this, uh, uh, the, the gems for this outfit. Thank them. It's time to move on. We shouldn't stay here. I do hope the Knights of Favonius are all working hard. Onwards. We have work to do. She's very, like, her, her, so far her, um, her lines are very, like, direct. The rain won't slow me down. Which she is a very direct person when it comes to her orders and things like that. I hope she has a voice line about Klee, if I'm being honest. This weather is perfect. We should move out. Huh. Snow. Remember, tend to your boots when we return. So far, everything she said has been about efficiency. We know she's a very hard worker. Such fine weather. Such fine weather. Legend has it, the wind was unusually strong on that day, too. A successful day starts from the morning. Let's give it our all today. This is so true, and like... I know, like, some people think mornings are overrated and stuff like that, but, like, whatever time you wake up, like, the success of the day for me depends on how well the morning goes. Um, like, I'm the type of person, and it's very bad, that if I don't get stuff done in the morning and if, like, I have a bad morning, I cheat the whole day as a write-off and I go, okay, I'm just gonna wait for the next day, <laughs> you know, which isn't good. Uh, but yeah, I don't know, I'm always like, I kind of agree with Jean here. We've still got work to do. Let's keep going. Her... It's kind of cool that all the voice lines have different levels of, like, how detailed they are. Like, of course, uh, the princess and, and uh, the other princess and um, uh, Zing Shou have, like, voice lines that are, like, very long. Not long-winded, but, like, very detailed and fit their personality. And it is here, like, again, very efficient. <sighs> it seems I'm immune to coffee now. Perhaps I need to ask oh, Lisa God. for something... A little stronger. That's that's called get some sleep, Jean, please. Training is finished for today. Great work. You've earned a good rest. You've earned 300 rests. Today I had no choice but to cut down five ruin guards to protect the people of our city. <sighs> I must continue to work harder. Though hostile, destroying such precious artifacts is still a loss to us all. I must find a less destructive way to bring them down next time. Very cool. You have my complete and full support. Of course, if your path ever deviates from justice, I will not hesitate to point it out. Yeah, I, I imagine she would be very honest with us. But now she's going to talk about the vision, which is actually Born cool. Mondstadt, as always, is the Gunhilder family motto. Every time I use my vision, I am reminded of my mother and the hopes of the people of Mondstadt. For Mondstadt, for freedom, that is what I fight for. On behalf of the Knights of Favonius, I would like to extend my gratitude to you for all you have done for Mondstadt. Please remember to rest from time to time. Did I miss something? What are you laughing at? Did I say something odd? Um, I think it's because you never rest. <laughs> I think it's because you never rest, which is what's funny. Or was lying about Barbara. Dandelion, ride the wind to a faraway land. Who knows? The wind might take it all the way to Celestia. 
Barbara is a hard worker, but I feel she's too hard on herself sometimes. What? You ask me how I know all of this? It's because the Order also manages the church. Oh yeah, sure, that's how you know all this. Not because you're just sisters. Speaking of sisters. When Lisa is around, I always have peace of mind. That's the thing. I love learning this about Lisa. Like, we always thought she was kind of a slacker at the start. And we played her mission. And now we know here that she's, like, very, very efficient. And she, she's actually very reliable. Which is also Amber. I must say that Amber's development has impressed me recently. I hope that one day... Her deeds will become the words of a bard's tale. I mean, they should. Like, again, I always talk with the Monster crew. There's one about Klee. I always talk with the Monster crew in such high regard because when we started this game, they were our crew. They were the people that helped us. And they continue to be the people that I always, always have, like, undying loyalty to. Even though more than the people in Liyue, even. Um, because of what they did for us. I feel like without them, we would have been lost completely. Is that right? Kaya also gave you some suggestions. He is an excellent knight, after all. This is a fact no one can deny. Yep, 100%. Though it may be oh, said that it is in a child's nature to play, the things Klee plays with are far from toys. <laughs> I can never take my eye off her. <laughs> We're going to skip Albedo until we do his hangout and stuff like that. Uh, Varka. Okay. Grandmaster Varka <laughs> is the legend of his generation. I love Klee. On the day of his triumphant return, I shall be sure to personally introduce you to him. I'm sure you too will be in awe of his greatness. Hmm. Noelle. She puts enormous effort into trying to become a Knight of Favonius. However, I fear she is not quite ready for the dangers that lie beyond Mondstadt's walls. I mean, they may mean honorary knight, so I feel like they Jean knows her stuff, you know what I mean? Some may see Sister Rosaria as one who complains about how bothersome her work is, but she does her job well. Last time I saw her, I told her she could come find me should she ever need help. To which she simply replied that doing so would be even more bothersome. I need to work harder to become of more assistance to the people of Mondstadt. Master Diluc has his reasons for being so critical of the Knights of Favonius. I am not proud of the way things went, but I cannot change the past. All I can do is keep working hard, in the hope he may one day see us in a better light. This is my duty. She thinks a lot about Diluc. Um, and like, it's hard not to. Like, the you know, the one person who, like, there's someone who criticizes the Knights of Favonius so much, but at the same time, like... Everyone else that isn't in the Knights of Vonius, like, respects him. And in the, everyone in the Knights of Vonius respects him, too. So it's like, you can't not just take his opinion. Master Diluc is my senior, and I have the utmost respect for him. Though we have gone separate ways, I can sense we share the same strong commitment to protecting Mondstadt at all costs. Yep, 100%. She said it in a way better way than I did. Sucrose is also a rare talent in the field of alchemy. Under Albedo's mentorship, she is sure to flourish. I'm sure her future will be bright. The only thing is... Uh, oh, uh, I was momentarily lost in thought. It is nothing. Nothing bad, anyway. She's evil, isn't she? She's evil. Yula, we haven't met Yula Mika. We've met... We've met... We've met Mika, Mika haven't we? We have. So we haven't met Mika yet, so I don't want to talk... Well, me, like, I don't think it's going to matter too much, but I feel like just... I don't want... Like, I kind of, like... I don't know. I've been kind of advised not to do that, but I don't know if how, like... Uh... Spoilery they would be, but I want to kind of meet them myself. You know what I mean? If that makes sense? I shoulder the Knight's trust and the people's hope. It is for this reason I must stay vigilant. Vanessa's title, Dandelion Knight, has been passed down from generation to generation. Countless great knights were awarded with this honor, and I will not bring shame to this name. Thus, I must keep going. I must become the sword and aegis of the people. Only glorious victories are recorded in legends and history books. Surely even the great knights of old must have oh. had their struggles. Wind, 
Please so show what, me the path. So what we're learning about these two specifically is that she wants she she takes being the dandelion knight or the new dandelion knight or what people see as the, the embodiment of the dandelion knight so seriously. And here she's talking about like how the old knight. She's like, guys, you must have had problems too. But here's the thing, Jean. They only talk about like the really heroic stuff that they did. You know, don't worry about that. Like I wouldn't worry about that at all because they don't, they don't, people don't the ever talk about the heroic stuff. They're not about the troubles. You know. Have you heard the story of the heroic king of Kynria? The thing is, though, Vanessa, we saw Vanessa had some struggles, too. Vanessa wasn't living an easy life. If only there was some kind of mysterious potion that could keep me awake forever. Oh, I no, girl, just get some sleep. Lisa tomorrow. Just get some sleep. It's been ages since I had pizza at Cat's oh, Tail. Nice. If only they delivered. A true knight can't afford to be a picky eater. Yeah, you can. You deserve it. Not only is the taste magnificent, but you've also made sure it was healthy. You have so she's like, gratitude. She takes every aspect of that seriously, which I, like, again, you know, it's one of those things where she feels like she probably would slip off if she doesn't take it seriously. Hmm, yes, I feel a lot more energetic now, thanks to you. Uh, <clears throat> uh, all in all, I appreciate the effort. Oh god, it wasn't good, was it? <laughs> good. On to our next objective. As the wind continues to blow, so too shall I continue to fight. Great. So that was in Jean's. We learned about Jean's like dedication to the Dandelion Knight or the name of the Dandelion Knight. Um, and now we have like this idea of her, like this new idea of her, that she is just basically um, like we kind of knew this, but reaffirmed how we, she felt or how she feels. But like it's kind of like this pressure that she puts on herself that no one else is putting on her, but she feels like she has, has a dedication or should be dedicated to the memory even of someone that she never even met. Which does make a lot of sense. How are you doing, Benny boy? This is your team? Cool. I like the vibe. I'm Bennett, leader of Benny's adventure team. I like the vibe. Any chance we can team up? Imagine if him coming up being notorious. Everyone knows him as the guy who everyone left the adventure team of his. Like, And he comes up and goes, Jesus, look, look, I love your vibe. <laughs> oh my god. You know, your vibe is so cool. Let's hang out. <laughs> Let's go find some treasure. Yeah, let's go find some treasure. I love you. No one's joined me on an adventure yeah. in ages. Come on. You're a he's go. a main. He's a main character in our team. Good things come to those who don't. Oh, we know this around. one. That's what they say anyway. Knowing my luck, the opposite is probably true for me. See, yeah, he is self-deprecating a lot. It always rains when I go on an adventure. Don't stand too close to me. Oh. Or you might get hit by lightning too. He's so yay yeah, because he's so unlucky. Weather is not bad today. We've oh, heard this one a million times. Be careful. In this kind of wind, it's easy to get hit in the head by flying rocks. So are they flying rocks and not someone throwing rocks at them? Because I always pictured someone just throwing a freaking rock at them and it got me really annoyed. Morning. Where's the adventure at today? Buddy, we just woke up. <laughs> Benny. I brought a sandwich. You want some? Oh, listen to this. I brought a sandwich. That's so adorable. I brought a sandwich. I brought a you sandwich. I'll give you half. <coughs> oh no. <laughs> Benny. Phew. Sorry. Nearly choked to death there. No. He dirty choked to death. The sandwich is so unlucky. Hey. Want to go talk to my dads for a bit? They tell the best adventure stories. Benny's two dads. Benny's two dads. He's the sweetest boy in the world. You're headed off? Cool. It was awesome adventuring oh. with you. We should totally do it again. I, uh, Benny's like, like, I don't know, I want him with me in real life. Just like there, you know? Imagine just like playing video games and him being like, wow, that's cool. Like just po pointing at the screen every few minutes. Like I'd be like, it would make me feel so motivated to keep playing everything I'm playing. I'm the leader of Benny's adventure team. A rising star in the Mondstadt Adventurers Guild. Where are the others? Uh... <laughs> They're all on leave right now. No, they left. <laughs> they are on leave. Uh, it's not as bad as you've heard. Everyone falls into a trapper's pit or gets hit on the head by a falling <laughs> Benny... tree now and then, right? No. <laughs> I love him so much, but he's like, he's, he's like, everyone just, everyone gets beaten up by ten guys. <laughs> <laughs> you wish. Christina V. Venezuela, you're so good at this. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> Benny's adventure team has had no vacancies in ages. I mean, you must be spoiled for choice, right? 
Why'd you want to join the unluckiest adventurer alive anyway? Because you're the best. Getting recognized by the gods was the last thing I expected. Seeing as how I'm so unlucky all the time. But if the gods haven't given up on me, I guess that means I shouldn't give up on me either. Oh my... Benny... I will never give up on you either. Oh my god. Do you want to come and see the view of Mondstadt from above sometime? It's real pretty at night. He's two dads! The city's all lit up and you can see the moon reflected on Cider Lake. Huh? From where? <laughs> well, there was this one time when I got picked up by a tornado no. and ended up on this cliff way up high. Not interested. What? I could Oh, okay then. Never mind. No, I'm totally interested in the idea that you got picked up by a freaking tornado. Benny. I actually quite like cabbage. It's not much to look at, but you can't imagine a world without it. You can grow it anywhere, it goes with everything, and the flavor never gets in the way. I don't know. There's something... Nice about being ordinary. So this is like totally like a very smart way of them being like, hey, like he he's he's so unlucky that even his like favorite foods is like uh a a cabbage. Which like if you like cabbage, fair enough. I like spaghetti bolognese, fair enough. You know, we all like different things. Let's talk about Barbara. She's the best singer and dancer. Oh, out he, there. Of course he's hyping they up everybody. Of course he is. Goes south. It really lifts my mood. Chanting along with all the other fans, cheering her on. It's really kind of magical. It's no wonder she's so popular. Boy, if I had even half her popularity... Oh, and he, brings about, he does a circle around to the adventure team. team. Buddy, I will be on your adventure team forever. I don't care how many limbs I lose. She's a cute kid, but I have to keep my distance. Whenever she plays with me, her bombs always end up... <laughs> First of all, Benny and Clee are playing together, but also her bombs go off. She's a cute kid. Whenever they're playing but together. But I have to keep my distance. Whenever she plays with me, her bombs always end up going off. It's not so much me I'm worried about. It would just be awful if something happened to Clee. The Knights of Favonius would never forgive me, that's for sure. <laughs> I would make them forgive you. That's so funny that he's just worried about Clee blowing up. <laughs> he plays with Clee and she plays. Oh, yeah. The princess and heir for what Tailung from the world beyond. She's amazing. I keep asking her if we could go adventuring in her home world together. But each time I bring it up, she sort of avoids the topic. She's probably just worried about my safety. Sure. Her home world sounds like a sure. dangerous place for sure. This, this dude, right? Satan could come out of the floor and he'd be like, Oh, that's Satan. He's a mean dude. But honestly, he's not too bad. I like his red colored skin. You know, he's like, he, that's him. He can make friends with, like, Satan. I keep meaning to ask Master Jean for some help with the Mondstadt Adventurer's Guild, but I don't know how to go about it. The Guild doesn't have as many rules or regulations as the Knights of Favonius. The dads and I are pretty laid back about everything. Pretty sure that attitude wouldn't fly with Jean, though. I guess I should read up on the Knight's etiquette or something. <laughs> you don't worry about nothing. Varka. He's my role model. Talk about team leaders. He's the grand master. Oh, we have a razor line going up. The whole darn Knights of Favonius. How incredible do you have to be to do that? Recently, though, I've been thinking that having a smaller adventure team isn't such a bad thing after all. I mean, if things got too busy in the team, I'd have no time to look after my dads in the guild, would I? Yeah. Yeah, things are fine the way they are. Oh, Benny. He's like, hey, I look after my dads. In the Avengers Guild, he makes he's like, and this is like, like not delusion, but it's it is delusion in a way, but it's kind of like a very, um, like non harmful delusion is probably the way we're looking at it. You know, it's like it's like okay, let him believe that he's you know he the reason he has such a small team is because, um, he is like, like too popular. Or that his, or that it's 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 a good thing to have a small team. Wolf and dumb guy. Wh what was that? What was that, Betty? Wolf and dumb guy. Wolf and dumb guy. Wolf and dumb guy. Looks a little on the feral side. Doesn't talk much, but he's all right. We both love oh. eating meat, so we got that in common. I sometimes cook some meat for him, and he teaches me how wolves communicate in return. <laughs> you should join us next time. I love that. Like he's like again. This is what I'm talking about. 
He barely talks to Razor, apparently. But apparently they're best friends. People say they're best friends, so we're probably gonna hear another line about Razor as well. But he's just like, he'll find the good and the best aspects of everybody. Oh, I know who you mean. The girl who's always charging around all over the place. She's always off adventuring in the wild, just like me. <laughs> but if you ever see her near a cooking pot, you'll soon find a cloud of thick black smoke blowing in your direction, followed by the smell of burnt steak. Huh. Maybe she was born unlucky too. Maybe. Maybe. Noelle's someone I've been watching for a while. She's really talented and extremely hardworking. But somehow she's still a maid. The Knights of Favonia still haven't made her a knight. It's a shame, don't you think? Boy, if she switched to the Adventurer's Guild, she'd easily be one of the best there is. Well, she's not. I don't, I don't think they want her. Oh, well, I guess like I guess they, they, she's she wants to be a knight of Avonius, but like yeah. So he's like saying, hey, like she's good enough to be in the Avengers. Guild. Again, finding the best about everybody. Like this is what this boy does. Oh, you want to know about me? <laughs> I'm just your average adventurer, except I'm more unlucky than average. Anyway, I'm nothing compared to you. You're the star of all those legendary tales. What do I got to show for myself? I know it's not canon, but it's so funny that Benny, like, literally is... Without him, like, this game would have been way not as much much fun. Um, also, like, he is unlucky because, like, every other boy character on my team has, like, this snatched waist going on. And he's a, he has pencil figure. And there's nothing wrong with that, you know? But it just, it's just... It's just like they're trying to twist the knife a little bit. The Dats. That's how I refer to all the older adventurers in Mondstadt. Apparently, I was an orphan kid... They're all... They wait, 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 wait! All the older adventurers are his dads. The dad. This is the sweetest person who ever lived. The older adventurers in Mondstadt. Apparently, I was an orphan kid that they rescued from the most perilous situation ever. How cool is that? Oh. I have such terrible luck all the time, and yet I was rescued against the odds oh. and survived all this time. It's a miracle, if you ask me. He had one aspect of his life that he sees as lucky. And he calls it a miracle. This boy. You've, uh, noticed then. <laughs> yeah. Benny's adventure Always been honest. has been me on my own for a long time now. Reason is, I have such bad luck that even the most benign of adventures end up turning into the adventure from hell. And no one wants to come with me. Do you feel the same way? Buddy, I am literally jumping into the character. Let's go on an adventure. I was born unlucky. That's just the way it is. And I've lived with it so long now that I'm just used to it. But you know what? Maybe it's a good thing. It means I know that whatever luck I do have left is gonna run out sooner rather than later. So I'd better make the most of my life while it lasts. You know, go on plenty of adventures, meet loads of people. I mean, if I didn't live like that, I may never have even met you. Oh. Can you imagine? True. <laughs> True. True. So he's like, hey, like he he noticed that his team's gone, and he's like, hey, like you know, I, I my luck's gonna run out soon. Whatever luck I have is gonna look as sooner or later. <sighs> I want him to be with us always. I like all kinds of things, but most of all, I like adventures. One day, I'm gonna find the most valuable treasure in the whole world, and then my dad's gonna have a better life, and the Monstad Adventurers Guild will be back in business. He's such a good boy. And he cares so much about his dads. I actually thought it was a two dad situation, but it's very clearly a everyone is his dad. Huh. Well, if you really want to know, when I have a bad day, I feel a bit glum. Oh. Like, it sucks when I come back empty handed from an adventure, or when one of my dad's old injuries starts acting up. Oh, one of his dad's old but injuries. They're just small things, really. After a good night's sleep, I forget all about him. New day, new start. <laughs> this is an unbelievably nice way of looking at it. An incredible way of looking at it. Um, but it's usually like this happens quite a bit, like um, with people who are like very cheerful. You know, I find with people who are always very happy and cheerful and nice and all this stuff, you, what will happen is that like um, you'll they'll have like days that are bad and then they're just like, you know, they'll just go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next day they're like, look, oh, whatever, we'll try our best this day. Meat! Meat! Meat is the best sustenance there is. Chicken mushroom skewers, steaks, and sweet madams are all my specialties. 
You won't go hungry if you come adventuring with me, that's for sure. Awesome to hear. You can't really afford to be picky as an adventurer. That said, I can't really handle spicy food. I find it hard to breathe after eating Dreyun chilies. Like the spice went right into my lungs. And there's no avoiding the diarrhea afterward. Okay. It's the devil's fruit, I say. Who knows where it came from? <laughs> you know what's so funny? It's like, buddy, like, social conversations. Let's not talk about this, you know? Whoa, lucky me. <laughs> oh, wait. Does that mean I just use all of my good luck for today? Oh, no, this... <laughs> Literally everything you cook ends up tasting amazing. <laughs> You're awesome. You're awesome. Uh, oh no, my stomach. And of course hurts. he ate, ate it anyway. I feel stronger in every sense. Just as unlucky as ever, though. <laughs> I'm catching up with you, traveler. One step at a time. Wow, check out all this power. How can I repay you, though? Hmm. Oh yeah, I know this domain where there's a priceless treasure hidden somewhere okay. inside. <laughs> Let's go hit it up. His, his reward for us for helping him is, hey, how about we go on an adventure together? <laughs> so the, what we learned about Benny there is pretty much what affirmed a lot of stuff. He said he's the sweetest boy who ever lived. He thinks about everyone else. He hypes everyone up. He doesn't really like talking bad about people. By the way, our Bennett is level 70 now. Or le could be level 70 very soon. He's, he's ascended. Um, so who we have left is we have the, the we have Aether. Uh, we have, uh, which we're going to save for last because I feel like that's going to be like the, the main one we have to get because we never hear their voice. We have Aether, we have Razor, we have Barbara, Garmin, uh, Kaya, Lisa, Amber, and Yunjin, I guess, as well because we already met Yunjin. I think that's right, and, Shang and Shangling. So there is quite a few left we have. So let's go and do Razors next. You smell nice. Let's hunt. Nice. The voice acting so good, Todd. You're such a good voice actor. I smell rabbit. Mm, I'm hungry. Let's hunt. I keep watch. You leave, you call. We've me. heard this one many a time before. I miss having Razor on the team, to be honest. You know. If you're scared of lightning, hide now. Oh, he knows. He knows the lightning's coming. Avoid the trees. Follow me. Wind. I like the wind. There you do. The wind bites hard. The sun is up. Time to hunt. I had a big lunch. Lots of meat. Mmm, I'm happy. Oh. <laughs> he's actually such like a fun character as well, isn't he? Go to sleep. I watch the moon. Oh, he's like, yeah, I'll keep watch. You sleep now. Oh! <laughs> I'll keep watch. I have no human family. I am a wolf. Yeah, you are. You are a wolf. You are my friend. Yes! We can hunt together. Yes, we are. I like the stars at night. So many stars. In the sky, in the lake, and in the city. The wolves are my lupicol. My family. <laughs> mm, you smell kind. Do you like meat? Yes. Yes, I do. You are strong. Like a wolf, I like to hunt with you. We catch a lot. I like Lupacol. I like the woods. I like my friend. Oh. I like to run. Yeah, you do. Talking makes me tired. Oh. Talking is hard. It is. But I have to try. It is hard. He's right. I like meat. And I like potatoes. Potatoes are so good for you, man. Eat those potatoes up. Greens are bad. Animal eats green things. Then I eat animal. Yeah, that's how you get your sustenance. Good man. Smells good. Also, tastes good. I like it. Eating this gives me energy. Makes me happy. So. Mm, eating it bad. Not eating it also bad. We don't have I'm as much. sad. Arms bigger. We don't have as much conversations we because we not as uh, we're not uh, we didn't use him as much. He does have stuff that he's gonna say about Lisa and Bennett, but we need to uh, uh, basically ascend him more to get his conversations, which is kind of bad. Uh, but I imagine that you know it's just as adorable as all this stuff. He isn't just an adorable boy. Yeah, like we're not gonna have the same amount of dialogue that we have with the, the fully ascended characters that we do with these guys, which is painful. Which is why like I'm totally um, on board, one hundred percent. Like look at this, it's not nearly as much. 
You know what I mean? But I'm still totally on board with leveling up these characters eventually. And it's actually not that difficult. The only thing that's difficult about leveling up characters in this game, and I'll stand by this, is flowers. That's it. If we didn't have flowers in this game, it'd be easy as heck to level up every character. <laughs> Barbara is here. Leave the healing to me. I will not disappoint you. You never, never disappoint. <sighs> All the standing around is making me so sleepy. Everyone is working super hard. We should be too. Are you tired? Try my new spicy energy drink. I'm sure it'll wake you up. Sure. Don't stay out in the rain for too long. You'll catch a cold. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! 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 Oh, snowflakes. Look at them dance. This is just like an angel, right? <laughs> like, it's just, just... There's no other explanation. This weather is so amazing. I could burst into song. She looks like Jean as well, by the way. Like, she does have Jean's face and her hair color, which is really cool. Don't worry. I will not be blown away. That's because your dress is so airy. It's like a, it'll turn into a parachute. Morning. <sighs> Let's do our best today. If I woke up to this. Morning. Someone saying morning <sighs> like that. Let's do our best Sorted. today. Oh, do you want to hear me sing? I'm sorry, the show is it hasn't started yet. Sing anyway. I really want to eat some spicy squid at Good Hunter. Oh, but my stomach. Uh. uh uh, never mind. We had a great day today. Get some rest. To the wind that guides me. When I'm exhausted, bless me with the strength to keep going forward. When I'm uncertain, bless me with the wisdom to distinguish good from evil. When I suffer from injustice, bless me with the courage to fight back. <laughs> Oops, uh, my apologies. I was just doing my prayers. <laughs> you need something? Not all. It was actually nice to hear them. My dream is to bring a smile to the faces of all the people in my life. As long as I can help you on your journey, I'm happy. Girl, you do that without trying. I could never get bored of the breathtakingly beautiful nature that surrounds Mondstadt. I've heard that there are blue trees that exist by the seashore near Inazuma City. I just need to save up a little more and... What's that? You want to know what I'm saving up for? <laughs> That's my little secret. Sunflowers always face the sun. They're so bright. In fact, my mother sent me a sunflower-style dress. I wonder when I'll finally get to wear it on stage. Her, she's one of the characters that her other outfit is like, is even better than her current, and her current outfit's so cool as well. Knights look so cool when they swing their sword in combat. Don't you think so? I tried using a sword before, but oh, let's just say I have zero talent with a sword. Which is fine. Not everyone has to be good with a sword. Like, I think the best characters in this game sometimes don't even use a sword. I mean, Xiao uses a spear, and he's, he's the most powerful character who ever lived. The smiles on the faces of the people I've helped keeps me going. That's super sweet. Oh, my companions keep getting injured, but I'm unable to share the burden of their pain. The only thing I can do is my absolute very best to heal their wounds. I'll make sure that everyone is healthy. Do you like spicy dried fish? I have two in my bag. Here, have some. Thank you. I've never tried it. It sounds nice though. I don't like anything bitter, especially ugh, bitter gourd. Yeah, she looks like she likes kind of very savory, spicy stuff. Mm. <laughs> what? Mm. What was? Laura, Laura Stahl? <laughs> of course. <laughs> mm. It's a rare pleasure to eat Wait. Mm. <laughs> it's a rare pleasure to eat food that suits my taste so well. That's nice. Today is a blessed day. <laughs> Thank you for cooking these for me. This time around, 
You are the one healing me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I love she still try like these. Some of these characters still try to try to be so nice, even after like clearly getting like um, food poisoning for um uh, from uh, us, I suppose. Um, yeah, I think like I only know Laura Shaw because I think she also played like um another character's game. I think it's like Yin Yin Yang. I think it was. Uh, she also like was in like stuff like um. The, the great pretender and stuff like that. A dance from Barbara to bring you more healing. A dance from Barbara to bring you more healing. Yeah. And she also played like Atom and stuff like that in um in uh uh the anime version of Pluto. I've only reread the manga, haven't re watched the rest of the anime yet. And look who it is. Well, if it isn't the prettiest boy to ever do Wushu dancing ever, Caleb Yen, how are you? By the way, I follow Caleb Yen on Twitter. Uh, but I have, if Caleb ever saw this, I'd be very upset. I have him slightly muted. Because I want, I wanted to boost his numbers because his voice acting is so good. But at the same time, I didn't want him to spoil anything by accident. Unfortunately, I, but I, my dream is to have him do a voice intro for the channel. Hey, Voss. The name's gone. Stop. Hey, Voss. I, I could listen to it for days. Hey, Voss. <laughs> hey, Voss. The name's Gaming. I'm a guard from the communications office. So all this needs shipping, right? Such good voice acting. Uh, no, it's so no. good. You grab a seat and have some tea. I'll get these packed up for you, no problem. It'll only take me a minute, then we can get the delivery scheduled. Oh, and if you ever want to book a wushou dance, me and my crew are available in a heartbeat. The troop's called the Mighty Mythical Beasts, and I'm the head. <laughs> Not to brag or anything. You can brag all you want. Boom, booms, and eyes, and boom, boom. Listen to it! Boom, booms, and eyes, and boom, booms, and mouth. And... Hmm. I need to tighten up that part. Whether it takes me uphill, downhill, or out to the sticks, I get the goods from A to B. I'll even take them across the sea if needed. So don't worry, you're in safe hands. They don't call me the gold standard guard for nothing. I call you something different, though. A pot of tea with a couple of nibbles, some seasonal greens, and a piping hot bowl of fresh kanji. Ah, oh, that's a dope breakfast right there. The perfect way to start your day. Uh, rain? Oh, man. I hope I brought the laundry in. Yeah, he's a practical guy. He lives by himself. He left his family, so of course he's thinking about the laundry, you know? Oh, hey, you hear that? Someone just got wrecked. If you're gonna swear on high heaven, don't make an oath you can't keep. There you go. You know, he's t telling you the truth, guys. Uh, 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 oh. Why can't I catch any of my mouth? You know, you just have to get a b better mouth skills. That's it, you know? Great, sun's out. About time we had some dry heat. It's been so muggy lately. Dang. I bet water costs an arm and a leg around here. Good thing I brought my own. Yep. 100% always bring your own. Always bring your own. Whew. Just finished my kung fu practice. Now I'm about to go for dim sum. You want to join? Every day. Every day let's go for dim sum. You know my favorite thing to have for lunch? Breakfast. <laughs> Same! Oh my god. I do not care what anyone says, right? I remember one of the weirdest things ever when I was like a teenager, right? Was when like, like, like breakfast in like, in Ireland is like sausage, uh, blood pudding, uh, beans, like baked beans, eggs or brown bread, fried brown bread, uh, bacon, like rashers, rasher bacon. Um, and that's breakfast. That's considered like the kind of typical, like that's breakfast or cereal, of course, like that as well. So you can also have that for dinner and it's pretty good. I remember one morning I was like, I think I want like some chicken tenders for breakfast. And I remember like, I remember like, you know, I, I, this isn't bad about my mother, I love her to pieces. She was like, yo, that's weird. You're not having chicken tenders for breakfast. And it's like, what's the difference of me? Y y can I have chicken tenders later? It's like, yeah. By the way, we call them chicken goujons, I suppose. Chicken goujons. Uh, can I have chicken goujons later? Yeah, you can. Okay. Can I have sausages later? Yeah. Can I sausage now? Yeah. I was like, what? 
<laughs> of course I was like like uh like probably like 14 <laughs> so I was just like I was one of those boys that would eat everything so it was I I'm pretty sure it didn't have to be a goujon I'm pretty sure it could be could have been like I don't know I don't know like a full roast Sunday dinner can I have, can I have just a breakfast that's literally a turkey <laughs> ah, I managed to book this cool place for dinner they only do evening service and it's invite only since you're here with me want to come with Use it or snooze it. Come on, let's go. Use it or snooze it. What a boy. Hitting the hay? No? You hungry? Want to grab a bite? You hungry? <laughs> Ever been to Chaying Village? I grew up there. Chaying, thank it's you. It's a big tea growing region. Songlo and single origin Yaoan both come from there. You know what? No time like the present. I got a box of totally dope single origin here. Let's get to a tea house and brew us a pot right now. I'll get some nibbles too. My cheek. Oh my god, if it nibbles, he's gonna get us some nibbles. When I'm not on a delivery run, I do wushou dancing on the streets of Liyue Harbor. It, do you think you could come along and watch sometime to support me? It, no, no, it's completely free. As long as people are entertained, I'm, I'm a happy, happy guy. guy. Um, yeah, no, for sure. I would love to. I would definitely love to. Manzai's such a little rascal. <laughs> I gave him the name because it means well-behaved, hoping it would rub off on him. <laughs> Whole lot of good that did. But it's no biggie. All that hyperactive energy makes for a more exciting wushou dance. Also, I feel like watching Manzai has helped me get a better handle on how swan -y look in action. As soon as I put my wushou head on, I'm right in the zone. <sighs> oh god, he did an actual roar. I was looking at the roar. How's he going to do this? Is he going to go rawr? <laughs> With a lot of herbs, flowers, and even the twigs and bark of certain trees, if you dry them out, then boil them in water, it makes a really refreshing drink with a ton of health benefits. Cools you down, calms the mind, and so on. <laughs> Granny and Auntie tell me that drinking one of these herbal teas before and after Granny eating and foods helps clear your system and reduce heatiness. I'm the best wushou dancer in the secure transport. He had a lot to say, by the way, in this. the guard of the wushou dancing community. <laughs> How about that? Uh, that do anything for you? When you go for the tea but stay for the dim sum, we call that yum cha. What you want to do is get some sweet dim sum and some savory dim sum. Uh, Got to make it a balanced meal. And order a mix of ready-made dim sum and made-to-order dim sum so that you can snack on dim sum while you're waiting on your other dim sum. <laughs> Funnily enough, I never need lunch on a dim sum day. Let me know when you're free. I'll take you sometime. And don't be afraid to order a bit of everything. You can always pack up the leftovers and take them home. You know what's so funny about him? He talks like that person who like who who you who ha you hang around with, and every single person when you're he's not around will say. Jesus, Garmin talks too much. He talks too much, man. He's always talking. But then no one will stop him from talking because he keeps the conversation going. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nobody. You know what I mean? And he's too sweet. How much? All right, fine. I'll bite the bullet on the service charge. But I'm not paying extra for a few wet wipes, okay? Uh, matter of fact, I brought my own. So you can keep them. I was a little monster when I was a kid. I'd get into trouble, then refuse to apologize, and... My exasperated mom would say, I wish I'd given birth to a chunk of chasu instead of you. Now, every time I eat chasu, it, it makes me think of her. That's pretty sweet. I was a little monster as well. And I also, I, I relate to Gaumin so freaking much. It's unbelievable because I'm also the person that talked too much when I was, you know, younger. And, um, yeah. But, uh... Yeah, and like the thing is like, I. by the way, this is like when people say like, oh, this is such a horrible thing a mother used to say. And maybe I'm just used to Irish parents and Irish like upbringing. Like a, a comedian once said this one time, an Irish comedian talked about how like in Ireland, like uh, some other countries don't get it. You know what I mean? And I think it's like in Ireland, Irish people get it. I think there's some countries like in, in like I've heard from like Latina countries and Latina um, nations that hear about this, that, that, that it sounds pretty similar, but like in a different sense. Like... Like, like you, you know, our parents would literally be like, and it, you know, it would be completely normal. They'd just be like, you know, shut the f up, or I will literally set you on fire. Shut up, or I will murder you. Um, and like in a like, and the thing is, that's why like I have to like I have to put myself in different shoes. Like if I'm like when I'm playing, say, Life is Strange, and a character will go to like another character and say, like a, a parent will say, shut your goddamn mouth. That is like incredibly bad by like a different places standards if you know what i mean but like in in ireland like 
you have that conversation with someone. And correct me if I'm wrong about it, like America. Like maybe it's it's, it's some parts of America are different too. But like you have to put yourself in like, you know, a different shoes no matter where you are. But like I really feel like my, this is something that like my mother would have said to me when I was being bold or my father would have said to me when I was being bold. And then you're back talking to them in like three minutes. You know what I mean? Um, you're, it's a very like, it's a very common thing. It's a very common thing. And like, you know, it's not bad because like it's, it's, you know, like, cause I remember like, you know, and you, I'd, I'd hear, you know, you, when you, 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 you're, they'd say like, get, get home right now or you're fucking dead. You know what I mean? And like, that's just like normal, you know, you are dead and you are dead means like, you know, you're just going to get in deep trouble. You know what I mean? If that makes sense, am I making sense here? It's just maybe it's a different culture thing. It's a different culture thing. But again, if there's some parts of America that isn't like that, please let me know. Uh, or is like that. Everyone says I have weird taste. It, call me crazy, but all I want is for my fowl to taste like fowl and my fish to taste like fish. He's like, he's so like me in a way, like, you know? And like, I, 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 like, and I, I, by the way, I love spices. I love flavorings. I love this, some like stuff like this, but like, I'm a big believer in like chocolate and fruit not being mixed together. I want my fruit to taste like fruit and my chocolate to taste like chocolate. And people are always like, what do you, fruit, fruit and chocolate's so good. And I'm like, nah, man. I just want chocolate to be chocolate and fruit to be fruit. Mm. <laughs> Dang, are you secretly a god? Because this tastes like heaven. It, no joke. I'm calling you kitchen god from now on. You made this yourself? Oh, wow. You're too good to me. Seriously, you are an amazing cook. And you're just an amazing person. I hope I didn't like like worry people with that talk. It's just it's just, like with the Irish talk. It literally is just a thing that happens in our in our it's also like a thing like what I've noticed like the different culture when it comes to like celebrities and stuff like that. Like because other countries I've seen videos like where like when celebrities come to town and everyone goes freaking crazy, like and everyone's like, Oh my god. Um here it's like I remember like we saw a celebrity coming in for like a comedy festival and you know, everyone's just like, they wave, you wave across the street at them and you go like, his name was Paddy. And he waves and you go, well, Paddy. And he's like, well, well, Paddy, how's it going? Well, you know, everyone just waves at him across the street. Robert Sheehan, is that his name, came here and I met him one time. And like, uh, he even said like, he loves how like regular all the interactions he's had all day. Because I just walked up and I was like, I was like, oh, how's everything going? You know, how, how are you doing? <laughs> and he's like, everything's going grand. Yeah, like I'm just here like to visit some tea houses and stuff like that. It's like, oh, that's great. Have a good day. Like, and he was saying, he was like saying like, Jesus Christ, like every interaction I've had today has been so like non-aggressive. <laughs> Everything's been so normal. Um, I, can, I think it's just because we are like a, like a nation of um, very like jovial and comedic and like easygoing. You know, it's very easygoing over here. It's incredibly easygoing compared to uh, what I've seen on TV at the very least. I'm a big believer in owning your mistakes and taking criticism on the chin, so next time I upset you, there's no need to go to all this trouble. You can, uh, ooh, I, just smack me in the face instead. You can smack me as well if you want. Whoa, is this all for me? I don't, I don't like Dang, saying that to Gama because he's too sweet. <laughs> Aw, you shouldn't have. He's like, if you said it to him, he'd be like, oh, okay, <laughs> I guess. Uh, we still have Wanderer's Lines to read, of course. We read through, we read through quite a bit of them. Uh, the next one we're going to read, though, is Kaya's. Kaya, Knight of Favonius. Please allow me to join you on your journey. Guarding you on your journey sounds far more entertaining than any of the usual Favonius stuff. You usually say what we learned about Gaumon, but I feel like what we learned about Gaumon is that he's just an incredibly sweet boy still, and, like, he loves his parents, he loves his mother, and even though he ran away from home, he still has, like, admiration for his family. I didn't know you were such a slacker. <laughs> Seems all the other knights already have their hands full. I remember when I started this game and I genuinely was like, man, this is my final team. Amber, Kaya, Wanderer, <laughs> and Noel. I was like, Jesus, man, we did it. <laughs> it's over, man. Come on, let's get moving. We're not frozen in place after all. Cryo is always far more effective in the rain. This is going to get interesting. Yeah, Eula is way more effective when it rains, for sure. How about a ghost story to go with the snow? What's wrong? Can't handle the cold? What a pleasant breeze. I wonder how long it'll last. Seize the day. Seize the day. Huh? Hey, fancy joining me at the tavern for a bit? You just want to meet, just, this is, just say you want to go with me up at Deluke. You're not scared of the dark, are you? That's interesting nickname interesting. for Deluke, the dark. Leaving already? See you next time, then. 
Don't make me wait too long, though. He's such a like. He's like. He's like. He's like one of those people that would flirt with a wall. Is the Abyss Order causing you trouble? If there's anything bothering you, you know you can talk to me. Sure. If you ever need me, let me know. Let's not make this a transaction relationship. Yeah, you know, he's, and the thing is, though, he did help us and continually helped us, and it also showed his care for Gene. Do you drink wine? A dandelion wine has a unique body to it. Oh, you're underage. You should try Mondstadt's apple cider vinegar. I know just the place. Have you ever seen the Owl of Dragonspine? If you look directly at it, it seems to see right through you, while letting go of none of its own secrets. Quite fascinating, don't you think? The title of Cavalry Captain is nothing to get excited about. Now that I think about it, the Grand Master took all the cavalry from Mondstadt, so there's none left for me to captain. I just had, sorry guys, I just had a cool flashback over my head. You know when you get like a, like a, a that's a raven one with backwards? Like, I just realized I didn't collect dandelions yesterday when I was collecting all my flowers. I collect flowers every two days in this game, just like randomly, like in the evening. We're not going to collect the dandelions because I want to keep it to one day. So I'm going to have to wait another two days to collect those dandelions. Yeah. That's just end of. I can't. Wine tasting is an art form. Mondstadt's wine is a gift from the Animo Archon. It's only right that one should learn how to appreciate it. Lonely? Me? Not with someone here nagging me all the time, that's for sure. Are we nagging you? Sparkling wine is a specialty of Mondstadt. Mix it with three parts dandelion wine, and the bitterness disappears completely. This concoction is known as Death Afternoon. Death Afternoon is a really cool name for a drink. Really cool name for a drink. I can't believe that some people actually drink grape juice. If they had a little more patience, they would find it ferments into the most exquisite wine. <laughs> so unromantic. So he is a romantic. We can t we could tell that. Oh, this is quite exceptional. You are full of surprises. Uh, you should serve this with wine. It would really add the finishing touch. Ew. <clears throat> I'm just a slow eater. I'll finish it. Don't worry. There we go. See again, we haven't really ascended him, so we're not going to get as much uh, out of him as other characters. Um, Lisa is one of my favorite early on characters and still one of my favorite characters. Every time we get a chance to talk to her, it is my it brightens my day. Hi, darling. Are you going to be Lisa's little helper? Speaking of flirtatious, what? by the way. Me? A grand mage? That was a long time ago. I'm just a humble librarian now. <laughs> Don't worry, darling. I'll take very good care of you. So, it's nearly time for afternoon tea. Why not keep me company for a while? There'll be plenty of time for work later. Today's no good for going out. Hmm. Did I say that yesterday as well? You say a lot of things. <laughs> <sighs> Perfect weather for sipping a oh cup my. of tea while gazing through yes. the window. Yes! I love that, man. Like, I have... There's this... Uh, to the to the backyard, I have this little um, old... Uh, I know this is so weird. Uh, I bought an old, like, church chair. And this going to sound so weird. It's like an old church chair. You know the church chairs that would be at the side? And there's, like, a cushion on it. And I'm drinking tea and looking at the rain out the back. So nice. When I practice my spells in weather like this, I can do half the work for double the impact. People are gonna think I'm weird. I got it like. <laughs> I'm just teasing. It was like someone did she put it up and they were like like years ago. We're like it's twenty euro, and I was like okay. <laughs> I like it looks like it, I'll have to take a picture for you guys. So you can see it doesn't look. It's not like a full church chair. I'm gonna sound so weird. <laughs> Such a calming breeze. It's too late now. Perfect for taking a nap. She think? loves uh, relaxing, by the way. But like, she proved to us she's able to do her work as well. She's kind of like the opposite of Jean in a way, or this. She's similar to Jean, but she also like has less responsibility. But she she gets her responsibilities done. Yeah. Oh, good morning, Jean. Oh, it's you. Sorry, dear. Hmm. It must almost be time for a nap. You're still up. 
I'm getting sleepy. I can see how hard you've been working today. Let me think of a way to reward you. Girl, your presence is rewarding enough. I'm not lazy. I just know to save my energy for when I need it most. I can be your teacher, your master, or your friend. Or all three if you want. Feel free to use the alchemist upstairs from the library whenever you want. But make sure you knock first. We wouldn't want you seeing anything you're not supposed to now, would we? Hmm, maybe not. Calla lilies are a medicinal flower with antidotal properties. With them in hand, there's no need to worry about the side effects of any potions. <laughs> Everything sounds so sinister, even though it's like clearly just a very genuine thing she's saying. So, which element would you like to learn about today? Hey, darling. Would you like to try one of my magic potions? There's no knowing what it will do to you until you try it, though. Don't say I didn't warn you. <sighs> the interrogation room upstairs has sat there, unused, for two years now. It would be a much more lively place if Hertha would agree to let me use it as my private workshop. <sighs> She's such a spoil sport. I like making my own vegetable soup. I put a big bunch of vegetables into a cauldron and stir it with a long spoon. What does it taste like? Here, why don't you try it for yourself? Open wide. Lisa feeding us is, is a dream. I suffer from extreme pumpkin phobia. What? The fall harvest is a difficult time of year for me, as you can imagine. I wonder if it will be worth the trouble to make all the pumpkins in the world disappear. I like pumpkins to smell. I love the smell of them. I don't eat them, though. Well, aren't you just the sweetest? Thanks, cutie. You just made my day. <laughs> oh my god, we're you almost really done already? Oh. For this, haven't yeah, you? We, we're not friends with them. That's the problem. Like, it's, 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 we don't have as much of a, a oh friendship my. with these guys. This is really... <sighs> You know? Sometimes it just doesn't work like that. Um, we haven't met Yin Yang yet. So we can't... Do, I'm not going to do her voice lines because we haven't met her yet. But we have met probably the sweetest character who ever lived in the world. Outrider Amber, reporting for duty. Just say the word if you ever need my help. Oh, I miss her voice. I feel like running. That's your hobbies? Jean will be upset if she catches us lazing around like this. My favorite lore about Amber is that she she failed the skywriting test, or she gets a skywriting license taken away from her multiple times a week. Hey, there's something strange over there. Come on, let's take a look. Well, like I think the Knights of Odius are very much like a we take what we can get kind of thing nowadays, you know? Oh no, it's raining. Now my uniform will get all wet. Because they look the other way with like her losing her. Like if any other organization you lost your license like multiple times, you probably will be kicked out eventually. Clee blowing up the world, you know? But they did nothing wrong. It's raining again. This will hinder our vision. We must remain vigilant. Wow, this weather is awesome. If only the wind was a little stronger. Again, also, can I say as well, I will always have an admiration for Amber because she was the first, literally the first person in this world to ever extend a hand of help to us. And I don't care. I don't care if she's bad, quote unquote, as a, a character. I don't care what she is. It doesn't matter to me what she is. To me, Amber will always be one of my favorite characters just because of what she did for us at the start. This breeze, so refreshing. Hell yeah. I love this kind of weather. Ah, ugh, so relaxing. Morning, want to go on a jog? Of course, always. Can I get lunch with you? Always. It's getting late. Should I light a torch? Always. Agreed. Getting rest is essential. Let's meet here tomorrow then. See ya. Yeah, she's a really good knight, though. Mondstadt Gliding Champion. Yep, that's me. Gliding Champion. She's making sure everyone knows. Remember that I don't go easy on anyone, even you. Heck yeah. The view from the cathedral's clock tower is amazing. You should check it out. Heck yeah. Look, there's a pigeon over there. <laughs> I wish I could fly alongside them. Yeah, she loves flying. That's why we always used her for our flying tests and stuff like that. I'm a pro at hunting, you know. How about I show you some of my skills? Or even better, how about a little competition? Always. 
Baron Bunny, today is another squeaky clean day. She's such a sweetheart. Oh, do you have any idea how to make a decent moon pie? Moon pies are like those like chocolate things, no, are they? Jean makes the most amazing cup of coffee. You'll have to try it sometime. And she gets all her ideas from Lisa. I can handle anything and everything. As long as it isn't cold wolf hook juice. Ugh, yuck. Never tried it. Mm, wow, this is delicious. You're an amazing cook. <sighs> I wish I was as good at cooking as you. Ugh, I'm just not used to this taste. Sorry, nothing to do with you, of course. We're not gonna, yeah, we're not gonna get a lot out of these characters, uh, because we don't have them leveled up, you know what I mean? Like, the last three, we're not even gonna get a lot out of them either, so, like, you know, it's it's kind of like, I think we're kind of, like, this character's interesting just because she's gonna have, like, a lot to say in her first few lines. She doesn't have, again, look, look, it's not a lot, but, like, it's gonna be interesting just because we don't know her as well. We met her for one mission, you know? As the saying goes, you never truly know someone until you meet them in person. And at long last, I finally have the great honor of meeting you today. My name is Yoon Jin, and I am humbled Beautiful voice, by to the be way. the director of the Yoon Ham Opera Troupe. We have been performing at Ha Yu Tea House as of late, and we'd be honored to have you attend a performance sometime. For sure. Oof. My waistband has been feeling a little snug these last couple of days. Methinks I perchance have overindulged. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Eat as much as you want, girl. <sighs> yes. I shall spare myself the hair and makeup routine today and happily idle my time away. How gently do the clouds and flowers sway as dancing winds meander through the veils. It's beautiful. Again, just an unbelievable voice. D did you hear that? Oh, it really startled me. I love the coal shall be mine end. So she does speak sometimes in her native language. What a sight to behold. The sun, so warm and radiant. Good morning. The dew at dawn is perfect for brewing tea, so I made some for you. Drink up, and then we'll head off. <sighs> I'd like to indulge in a nap after lunch. Uh oh You're not tired? Let's go listen to tonight's storytelling performance together. Leo Su's rendition of Ring of Raining Blades is most sublime. There's a chill in the air tonight, so you mustn't stay out late. <laughs> Good night. I believe it when she says it, you know what I mean? My schooling started very early. In fact, my earliest memories are of my father teaching me to read. Despite my best efforts, my ability is not half of his. Enough to write operas, but compared to his level of erudition, I still have much to strive for. So... He, I'm guessing he also wrote operas. In her youth, my mother I love this. was a famous really cool. opera singer in Liyue Harbor. And I learned all the operas I know from her. But you could never imagine how strict she was with me as a teacher. Thinking back on it now, I... No, no, no. I'd rather not think about it at all. There you go. Well, like, again, like, it's, it's, it is, like, those type of, like, arts do require some strict training. Like it's it's strict, um, you know what I mean. Like when I when I was singing in bands, the funny thing was like was like like to get great, you had to like undergo some like actual strict stuff, and we had like a guy, um, in our youth center who would like always like try to teach us how to sing better. The singers in the in like the metal and rock bands, and we used to be like, this sucks. <laughs> we just want to go on stage and go woo. <laughs> like it was so. Uh, it was bad, but, you know, at the same time, like, we understood that, like, to be great, you need to have, like, some strict training. We have some grand performances coming up soon, and it just so happens that we have an opening for someone to play the part of a skilled sword fighter. I think you'd be a perfect match for the part. How about it? Would you like to join our troupe? We can even enjoy some tea together in between acts. That sounds very, very nice. It sounds so nice. 
One of my absolute favorite pastimes is trying out all kinds of new beverages. I've already tried all the sophisticated sounding drinks that previous generations came up with. You know, like pine nectar tea and snow blossom tea. I'm beginning to worry that I'll run out of new drinks to try soon. You don't happen to have any recommendations, do you? Sometimes, I just feel like casting off my opera costume and going traveling overseas. You know, to explore the outside world. For now, I'll need to keep working hard at what I'm doing. So someday that dream can come true. I believe in you. Like, you're actually unbelievably talented. And, like, I know, like, it's, 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 um... Uh, like, the idea of, like, changing your life can be really terrifying. But, like, I do believe in you. <sighs> the chirping of the songbirds at daybreak always puts me in the best of moods. Many of the operas we've been performing recently are new ones that I wrote after assuming the directorship of the troupe. I suppose the fact that I can both write and sing my own material has contributed to my rising popularity in the Yue Harbor. My hobbies? Well, opera, of course. Yep. <laughs> it's what I truly love, and it's what I will be pursuing for the rest of my life. It's what she's known for as well. Tianshu meat, blackback perch stew, cured pork dry hot pot. Oh, I just want them all. Unfortunately, I basically never get to eat such things. But, um, if you don't mind me asking, can you cook any of those dishes? I can try. I can try cook for you. <sighs> Every day's the same. Stir fried shrimp day in and day out. No matter how they prepare it, it always tastes the same. Ugh, ghastly. I really can't stand it anymore. It's not always like, I guess it's not always easy, like, having to, like, taste a dish that isn't, like, that you're not, like, exactly used to. Um, sorry that you are used to every day. Um, because, like, I don't know, like, I, I find I can eat, like, my favorite food every single day and it'd still be, it'll be horrible. But imagine having to taste something that's not, like, the greatest tasting all the time. It can probably get a little bit frustrating. Mm, there's no better feeling than indulging in your favorite food. It's a shame that I can only afford to have a little bite. Oh, what a magnificent feast. <sighs> Wait a second. I'll grab us some drinks to accompany the meal. Lovely. Lovely. Let's do that. Let's do that right now. Uh, I'm sorry. This meal isn't really agreeing with me. That's okay. So then we have Ningguan. I am Ningguan. Tianxin of Qixing. Such an important character, by the way. Trade? You be my personal bodyguard, and I will show you how to get ahead in Liyue. I, the, the thing is, like, that's so, like, like if, we, if you heard this line without doing the story, right? What would be so crazy about that is that she's actually, like, she actually is extremely helpful to the point that, like, her knowledge is sought out, out uh, to the point of, like, like, people will literally kill each other to get just a tiny piece of the information. I'm changing the position of my mic, by the way. I hope you guys are, like, it sounds okay. Let me know if it sounds okay. Even if an antique is priceless, the happiness it brings lasts for only the moment that you obtain it. Whoa. In a trade war, the perfect hunter leaves no trace. Her voice is so cool as well. We should look for a new investment. Mora doesn't grow on trees. True. <sighs> it's raining. Fetch an umbrella for me, would you? Nothing more than regular snowfall. One day, I'll take you to see the snow that falls over Liyue. Calm weather. <laughs> Do not trust your eyes. Your eyes can lie to you. Gales like this can be the demise of fishermen. Not to mention... <laughs> Never mind. So I looked up this voice actor's voices. Aaron Ebers doesn't actually do that many voices or hasn't done that many voices. So I'm wondering, is this like they found like a new person who's just amazing at doing voice acting? Because she's actually awesome. And like she's thinking, by the way, about the fishing, which is really cool too. She does think a lot about Leeway. Morning. Report your affairs. 
In order of priority. Okay, I ate some fish, I ate some lamb, I, I hung out with Garmin. Morning. Sorry. Report to Liu Li Pavilion or Xingyue Kiosk. Which would you prefer to go to for lunch? Wherever you want. The tea house has no more rooms. Then come, sit in the jade chamber. If you can afford the price. Hopefully. Sure, go rest. If anything important comes up, I will be sure to send for you. Be it simple price negotiation or a full-blown trade war, momentum and bargaining chips are but minor factors. To win, you need to be first to find out what cards your opponent is holding. About us? I suppose you've heard enough rumors about Oh, about her. Them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of person am I? Because I was actually kind of worried there for a I second. I shall leave that for you to decide. Of course, your judgment will become a part True. of the rumor. True. Uh, we've heard, like, we already heard from uh, Zing Cho that he's like, ah, I won't talk bad about her. So there are, there are a lot of people that do talk bad about her. Like, we've heard that a million times in this game. Gamblers always place their bets on the next dice roll. But the bankers always have the last laugh, and they never touch a single die. In Liyue's ancient texts, there's no shortage of mentioning the beauty of the glazed lily. But in the modern era, the flower is on the brink of extinction. Now they can only be found in Yujing Terrace, and as such come with a hefty price tag. Seeing as it's you, there's no need to keep up the formalities. You can be a little more casual, but I still ask that you respect my time. If you have something to say, be concise. I have no time to waste. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. And like, she is a very important person. We've established this a million times over. Care for a game of Liu and Millennial? It'll give me an opportunity to see exactly how good you are as a player. Concerns. If I told you of the concerns of the Liu Qixing, do you think your shoulders could bear the burden? No. <laughs> and if no. you ever made the mistake of no. mentioning them to others. Yeah, that's exactly that. A slow boiled soup of leftover chicken and pork bones drenched over some cabbage leaves. I have few culinary requirements. Having a few staple dishes like this is enough. I've come across those who demand golden crab for every meal. Though it all seems so grandiose, I really have no desire for such frivolousness. If you're ever thinking of taking me out for such a dinner, you'd be better off just giving the mora to me directly. Yeah, you can, you can, you can, you can figure it out for us. I'll trust you. I mean, I, I, at this stage, like, I have no choice but to. And I imagine she knows these places better than we do. Mm, you have surpassed my expectations again. With some things... If you haven't grasped the essentials, all the hard work in the world can go to waste. Know what I mean? Ugh. It's the thought that counts. Okay. That was that was her being negative, you know? Um, before we go on to uh, doing Aether or Wonder, uh, this is Shang Ling, who has an incredible design. Always incredible Hello. design. Nice to meet you. My name is Shang Ling. I'm a chef from Liyue. My favorite place is the chicken. I mean, the kitchen. <laughs> I practice so hard, but I still get nervous when introducing it's myself. It's okay. It's okay. Is there time for a quick snack? I'll whip one up in no time. Sure. I can't decide whether pyro slimes taste better with salt and pepper or garlic and herbs. Honestly, like, I love that her mind is always on food. But, like, we know this about her personality, like, from, from a while ago. If there's nothing better to do, we could go foraging for ingredients. Oh, I don't like the rain. Wait, did I leave my apron outside to dry? The rain has stopped. Come with me, let's pick some matsutake. Yes, everything's food. Animal signs always come out in this weather. If yep, catch everything them, is food. I'll make you a slime slushy. Perfect timing. Want to get a few cooking supplies? Lunch is ready. Come and get it while it lasts. And the little munching sound as well. You're just in time for a midnight snack. I made some barbecued lizard skewers. Well, don't just stand there. Dig in. Hey, you're not sneaking off to get a midnight snack without me, are you? You've seen the dragon in months. I thought she was. Hey, yeah, I should follow along with the text. You're not sneaking off to get a midnight snack yeah. without me, are you? 
bedtime? Oh, well, good night then. You've seen the dragon in Mondstadt? How big was it? What? No way. Imagine how big a steak a dragon that huge would make. <laughs> Everything reverts back to food. I'm much better at cooking than navigating. But if you do go out, definitely take me with you. I mean, like, I still would love to have in our party, but right now Bennett is just so good. Like, and the way we've, like, we've even, like, leveled up Bennett to the point that he is, like, better than most five stars, I think. If you get a stomach ache, a cup of herbal tea with silk flowers will clear it up in no time. Uh-huh. Of course you can trust my herbal remedies. We chefs are expected to know a thing or two about medicine as well, you know. For sure. I love onions. I've tried cutting them dozens of ways, and they still make me cry. No matter, I still love them. That's a part of the experience, though, you know? Roasted pigeon skewers, anyone? <laughs> Everything's food to her. Every, every single animal is food to her. Watch carefully. Heat the oil in a pan. Then take a handful of crystal flies. Wings removed. Pop them in, and voila! Delicious deep fried crystal... Hey! Where are you going? <laughs> no, it's fine. I would have stayed. It's been a month, and I still haven't sold a single bowl of mushroom slime stew. Gee, is it just because it looks sticky and gooey? It's their loss if they don't have a spoonful. My favorite thing to eat is... Whatever exotic ingredient I haven't tried yet. No, I'm not dodging the question. That's my honest answer. <laughs> She's just trying to get more food? I'll eat absolutely anything. There are no bad ingredients, only bad cooking. Mmm. Wow. I know this taste. It's boom shakalaka. Boom sh They love saying boom shakalaka in this game. I gotta admit, you're really good at cooking. Next time, it's my turn to show you a thing or two. Ooh. Are you sure you followed the recipe? Something is definitely off here. I'm, I'm sure I edited it out, but I was like, my chair was going crazy. Uh, so I had to like, I was like fixing it as I was like, <laughs> in between voice lines. But now we're gonna read what I've been waiting for, which is Zach Aguilar, by the way. Who is the greatest, one of the greatest voice actors I've ever heard, and one of the best voices in history. So let's just enjoy this. Let's enjoy this. We have a lot of text for this guy. Imagine like, we, ha we haven't ascended them past 40, so we don't have like, we actually have a lot. We have a lot. More than most characters would be. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's going to be fun. It's going to be a conversation between Paimon and Wonder, which doesn't usually happen very often. So let's start with windmills. Mondstadt has so many windmills, doesn't it? Well, the city is built above water. Oh my god. So it probably relies on the windmills to draw the water upwards. Just, just a... That's correct. The winds blow through Mondstadt a beautiful all voice. year. So this supply of water is very stable. Also, the windmills are what they call visible winds. And wind chimes are called the audible winds. Pylon guesses they can be thought of as mascots and prayers to the animal Archon for protection. Ah, mascots. So, like you then, Paimon. No, not at all! They're made of wood, and you can't eat them in an emergency either! Cause all you'll do is grind your teeth down! Uh... I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> I love it. It's, it's a pity we don't have these conversations on the over, overworld, but they also like want to put the player in the shoes of the of the traveler. I've heard that if you give tavern owners a considerable tip, they'll be willing to give some information on the down low. You mean the angel share? But Master D. Luke seems like a very rich man. How big a tip is considerable anyway? Uh, maybe I might have heard wrong. Or maybe I might have heard this rumor in another world. You sure have to many worlds, haven't you? We're learning this more and more every single time we play as him. Cider Lake, man. That's like, that's like right beside Monsta, but it's so early on. Cider Lake never freezes, no matter what time of year it is. The best apple ciders in Monsta can only be made using the fresh water from this lake. It really does taste great. Paimon could drink two big bottles in a second. Wow. <laughs> With your size, I can't believe that you can drink that much. Yeah, especially liquid. since she's a chicken. And not explode. A hen, like an animal more slime. like a. She's a hen. Pylon has a special stomach just for tasty drinks. A special <laughs> stomach? <laughs> I have so many questions about how this world works. Yeah, and how Pymon works. 
About those books in the restricted section that Lisa mentioned. Have you ever wondered what sort of books might be kept in there? Perhaps it oh. contains books oh. not suitable for children. Huh? But the Boar Princess isn't in the restricted section. What could be more unsuitable for children than oh, that? Oh, Paimon. Hmm. Paimon's cute. Yeah, I bet you are, Paimon. Oh, God. The Boar Princess. <laughs> Why do you say that? Just look at Huffman from the Knights of Favonius. He does his best at his duties every day. But the ever-relaxed Captain Kaya is his boss. Hmm. But isn't Jean, who works the hardest, the acting grandmaster? Yep. yep. Well, it's all I think it's down to like what you've achieved and what you've been able to do. He's the god of Mondstadt, and he's the laziest of them all. V Venti works when he has to, okay? Sure would be nice to spend a night at the Goth Grand Hotel. Paimon thinks so too. The rooms are sure to be big and clean. Still, I've heard Mr. Goth's voice is so good. All kinds of strange problems ever since the Fatui moved in. The electro systems that their mages brought in attracted a lot of dust with static electricity, which ended up killing a lot of those systems. Then someone mixed up the mist grass pollen and the pepper. And the agents ended up brawling amongst themselves, each insisting that the other owed them money for wine. <sighs> Hang in there, Goth Grand Hotel. Sure would be Sorry, I'm, I meant to press down and I'm up. says that Mondstadt is the land of the wind. But I wonder which direction the seasonal winds come from. Why don't we ask Venti? Yeah, he's our best friend. He'll probably just dodge the question with a... <laughs> yeah, something. you're right! <laughs> <laughs> Just a tone deaf bard. What does he know about the wind? <laughs> yeah, but like, yeah, the, the, the rival team Paimon and him will never, never not amaze me. So here in Mondstadt, alchemy is practiced out on the streets? Is that so strange? In many of the worlds I've been to in the past, alchemy has always been a secretive art. Watching alchemy being practiced as a part of daily life is like being in a world where people have three stomachs. Paimon thinks only having one stomach is weird. Yeah, because she has two. Uh, are you serious? What do you think? <laughs> Tavat's day and night both seem particularly short. The skies here are full of stars, but they aren't the same as the ones seen from my home. I wonder if the fates of people from Tavat are also related to their constellations. Oh? Do you know how to read the stars, too? That's amazing! Not a lot of people outside Sumeru can do it. Pilot's curious. Come on, do a reading for me, quick! Hmm. The night sky pictured on Paimon's cape flows with the light of many stars and also of the deep ocean. The movement of these stars tells me that... Oh. In, say, seven days from now. In seven days what? Something good or something bad might occur. Oh, God, yeah, of course. <laughs> right. Your theory sounds as rock solid as a geo slime, And about as brainy, too. <laughs> She's basically like, shut the hell up. <laughs> shut your mouth. On the way back to Mondstadt after rescuing Devalin. We finally got to see one of the seven Archons, didn't we? It was interesting to see what kind of god he was. Hmm. Haven't we known Venti for quite a while now? As Venti, yes. But still, this was the first time that we got to see him as the animal Archon Barbados. Normally, he hides his true divinity behind the facade of a bard. What does freedom really mean when demanded of you by a god? That question that he asked of Valen, I'm still contemplating that. So what we're getting mm -hmm. about Wander here is that he's way more thoughtful than I give him credit for. For me, like, if I'm being honest with you guys, what I loved about uh, Wander all the time was... Uh, sorry, we'll go up to the one we have to hear. Where is this? Uh, here. Uh, what I loved about Wander all the time was that I always saw him as, like, a, a bit of a dope. Uh, but, you know, I, I, I still think he is a bit of a dope. Like, with he's like a jokester, you know? He likes joking with Paimon. 
had dreams in rolling hills. People say that when Barbados made this land, he used the storm to flatten the cliffs and valleys. Still, it looks like he missed a few spots. Like Star Snatch Cliff? Yeah, they're on, like, this I mean, they're exactly. on the same wavelength at times, you know? On the map, it almost looks as if it was meant to be the apex of a vertical structure, but ended up at the wrong orientation. W what's an apex? Paimon's heard that couplets are a traditional art form in Liyue. If you can write a line that works as a second half to one that someone else has written, you'll be well paid. But linking the couplet is hard, so it's not easy money. Not only does the rhythm need to match, but the meaning has to as well. Hmm. Care to give an example? Uh... Wind rises, winds never churn. Um... But the sea of clouds, <laughs> clouds always return. It's so sweet how, like, they like, again, yeah. this is what I mean. They're like best buds. Not they are yet. best friends. Let's not waste time here. We've got some money to make. <laughs> like, and I do love that about them. About don't play in food and money. There's a saying of Rex Lapis that's commonly used here in Liyue. Paimon thinks its rough meaning is don't play with your money. It's because the first Mora were minted from his golden form and given to humans in trust. <laughs> Kaya sure seems to enjoy playing with his money. And that's why you shouldn't I love this. Him. Well, as a child, I was taught not to play with my food. Yup, yup. You've got to respect your food. Uh, what are you looking at <laughs> Paimon for? Cause you're a hen, you're a chicken. Bok bok. <laughs> you are the chicken. <laughs> I love that they bring up Kaya as well, like, you know, these just sound like conversations they would have normally every day, you know? Walk in seven clockwise circles, then walk in seven anti-clockwise circles, then open your eyes. Are you sleepwalking? Nope. Paimon is just trying to see if that antique shop from Heart's Desire actually exists. Well, assuming that a shop in a story does exist... What would you like to buy, Paimon? A slime creator. Does such a thing even exist? Why would she like to eat more slimes? Is that what she's doing it for? Lately, some Guhua clan disciples have been retelling an ancient story. The Guhua clan, huh? Paimon bets it's a heroic story. Several male disciples decided to partake of a contest of arms to see who would marry their female junior. And she approved. Paimon's heard this one. In Liyue, they call this a joust for a spouse. But the night before the contest, she stole the eldest disciple's favorite sword. Aww, so she wanted him to lose. Because she liked the other boy? Poor guy. I know, right? Forced to use a sword he wasn't used to, the eldest disciple suffered a crushing defeat. Unable to accept this result, he fell Wait. to his knees and wept. Her, right? In the end, he was forced to Wait, what? Marry her in front of everyone. Wait, what? Wait, so the loser had to marry her? <laughs> what does that do to your self-esteem as a girl? Or any person? The loser will marry my daughter. <laughs> that would be that would be lethal. I would never show my face again on this planet Earth. Did you know the reeds in Dihua Marsh are common materials used in making paper? The solid reed cores are used to make pens, while the hollow part is used to make flutes. It's all very sophisticated. Over the years, many heroes and swordsmen have also chosen Dihua Marsh as the location of their duels. The more reeds, the more elegant the place. But in places where the reeds are the thickest, the water can be quite deep. So there are a lot of unlucky duelists who fall in and drown while the duel is on. And what's my takeaway from all of this supposed to be? Don't get into a fight in Dihua Marsh. Yeah, she just give me some advice, bro. Just give me, give me, give me some nice advice from Paimon, you know? Paimon's heard that in Liyue, people call the crane the gentleman bird. And do you know why that is? Paimon's not quite sure. Well then, 
Let me tell you the story of the lucky crane repaying its debts. A long, long time ago, there was a kind-hearted scholar who saved a lucky crane that had fallen into a trap. Later, on a cold winter's night, a beautiful maiden came to his door asking to lodge with him. The maiden shouldered a greatsword on her back and taught all that she knew of swordsmanship to the scholar, supervising him as he studied day and night. Once he had finished his training, he went out into the wilds with the maiden to do good and fight for justice. Ten years later, the lucky crane took the form of a gentleman and finally came to return the favor, but discovered the couple had already lived out a fortuitous life. I'm... And that is the story known I'm as... I'm sorry that I'm like nearly falling through, like death. Zach telling a story to me <laughs> is like... Literally the sweetest thing in the world and the fact that Paimon likes so much as well You can see how close they are as well as as friends at this point. They are best buds Rumor has it that Joy Yoon Karst is the abode of the Adepti Wow! The abode of the Adepti! Perhaps we'll meet the Adepti on those cloud-piercing mountain peaks Wow! Meeting Adepti! But I wonder, how would one normally communicate with the Adepti? Communicating with a dead guy. <laughs> hmm. My emergency rations seem to be going bad. Best to consume them quickly. Ahem. Well, Paimon thinks that shouting from the mountain top Wait, what? should work. That seems more like a way of getting the attention of a is hilly churl rather than an adeptus. Is, is, was she not listening? Is that what she was saying? She was just listening to little bits of it? Come to think of it. While Rex Lapis enjoys visiting his people in private, he only descends officially once every year. None of the other gods do this. Hmm. Does it's so Rex weird reading Lapis this after, like, we had, like, a full Rex Lapis story, you know what I mean? Guesses. You see, those annual divine predictions have already captured the hearts of the people of Liyue too much. Round and around, they analyze and scrutinize every single word, finding limitless hidden meanings within them. What do you think would happen to Liyue if such predictions were available every day? Huh. Paimon gets it now. Paimon would be offering Rex Lapis's favorite snacks to him every day. <laughs> if you could of course she would. Mora straight from Morax's hands, who would ever need to do a day of honest work? <laughs> you made some logical leaps, but that's basically how it is. Yeah, they have a lot, like, it's so funny how, like, much is in this one, and it makes sense that there will be a lot in this one, because it is, like, look how much you have, like, like literally, like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29... 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. There's 42 voice lines left in this. It is insane how many voice lines are in this game for the wonder if well, for the main character. Together with Benny's adventure team, you have to come prepared. Domains are very dangerous, so you should always take care to double and triple check your supplies in advance. Paimon's heard that the Adventurer's Guild has compiled a list of 463 different ways of dying in these domains. If Bennett got you killed by accident, Paimon and Bennett would never forgive <laughs> ourselves. <laughs> Why am I the only one dying here? Well, that's because according to the numbers, Paimon can avoid 322 causes of death just by floating. Of course, of course. I suddenly don't feel like I'm not avoid we're not avoiding things. we're not avoiding explore with Bennett. We have to explore with Bennett. I've heard that Albert, being the leader of Barbara's fan club, sometimes gets bumps and bruises on purpose so he can go to the cathedral to see her. No. <laughs> feels the Knights of Avonia should keep a closer watch on weirdos like that. <laughs> But it seems that a month later, Albert discovered that Bennett was managing to see Barbara far more than he was. Well, Bennett does have the natural advantage when it comes to getting injured after oh. What is this? A let's bother Barbara kind You know what's so funny about this is that Bennett doesn't even have any, like, intentions. He just needs to go and see Barbara because he's always getting hurt. Barbara's really popular, isn't she? Well, she is the idol of the people of Mondstadt. 
come to think of it, Paimon doesn't really know what an idol is. It's an occupation in which one's work is to be cute, be well-loved, and earn a boatload of mora. Isn't that the same thing as being a mascot? That's... <laughs> One way to put it. You're our idol, though. You're our mascot, um, Paimon. Lisa and Amber feel a bit like sisters. Huh? Why is that? Amber often runs errands for Lisa. Older siblings asking their younger siblings to do things for them so that they can slack off is a rather common practice. But my sister and I are the same age, so we had to decide these things via rock, paper, scissors. Whoa! So does it? Make you my younger brother? Oh, what do you mean? <gasps> well, since Paimon floats, oh. you're the only one who can run any errands. Seriously? Yeah, no, it, it makes sense though. I mean, it makes sense. Like you're the one who run, you ran errands for your sister, and yet, like, I love that they decide things through rock purposes. It's a very sisterly, brotherly thing to do. But yeah, we are technically Paimon's brother then. Paimon, have you ever seen what Kaya looks like under that eye patch? So, it would seem he never takes it off. Actually, Paimon already knows why. Oh? He must be hiding some big secret. Really? A secret? See, Kaya heads out for assignments more than anyone else. So the skin under that eye patch has to be way lighter than the rest of him. What? So, if he ever takes that eye patch off... He'll definitely become the butt of everyone's jokes. Maybe it is like a supporting comedy act between thing. these two. Like, say, pasty eye. <laughs> Guess he didn't need to take it off to get a weird nickname. <laughs> Strange. It is like it's a supporting comedy act between you these two. And Kaya are really alike. So why don't they get along? How are they alike again? Kind of guy who acts shady in the light of day. True. While Diluc is a shining beacon. They're but yeah, they're both shady, but at different times of the day. That's a really way of putting it. Don't you think that's kind of the same thing? Uh, I still don't see it. I get it. If one hilly churl could be, say, three wild boars, then how many hilly churls would it take to reach the fighting prowess of Master Jean and a Master Diluc? Too many. Not sure. But if you heard the way everyone talks in Mondstadt, you'd know that Master Jean is the strongest. Uh, I'd say that if Diluc strikes first, Nah, Jean would kill Diluc. I don't care what anyone says. Oh, she'd find a way. There's no way. Master Jean's elemental burst is really strong, you know. Yes, but that field would also make Diluc stronger. Paimon doesn't think Master Jean would even need her vision to take on Master D. Luke because I'm on I'm on Jean's side. D. Luke would only need a beginner's great sword. <laughs> I do love this lagging between them though. <sighs> it's a very. <sighs> this is so dumb. Yeah, they do. They, they do. But it's it's fun to have these type so of arguments with your friend. Blows. You know. That's why Paimon likes your idea of measuring their fighting strength in number of hilly churls, or in Paimon's case, in fifths of a wild boar. I do. I know. I think it's it's such a common thing to have arguments like this with your friends, like about who's a better fighter. I'm on Gene's side, 100. percent You know what a brush is, right? Get swirled, Deluke. Of course, kind of like pens, but with animal hair at one end for calligraphy, right? And I'm not good. taking your opinions, they by the way. Gene better. <laughs> for high prices among Leo's merchants. So, would you like to make some too? Uh huh. But wild wolves are too fierce. So we should use razor's fur to make brushes instead. Razor's fur is all downy and soft. It'll definitely make great wool fur brushes. We can make lots of mora like this. Brushes made like that would conduct electricity. I'm not sure we could use them. Besides, razor isn't a wolf, nor are wolf fur brushes made from actual wolf's fur. Huh? Why are they called wolf fur brushes then? Well, does Cider Lake look like it's full of cider to you? True. Very true. Mm, you have a point. It's very true. Oh, okay, here we go. Really interesting interesting is one way to put it. All the knights seem to like her a lot, too. 
You could even say they spoil her. I wonder who makes the better mascot, Paimon or Klee? Oh no. Oh wait, I forgot. Paimon's not a mascot. Paimon's emergency. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Paimon knows exactly what you're going to say. That joke stopped being funny a long time ago. It, I don't think it, it's always funny to me. Is it? I think it's still funny to you guys. It's always funny to me. It will never stop being funny. I love how you made Klee about Paimon as well. He does. He does adore Paimon. You know what I mean? They are best best friends. But yeah. It's time for Paimon's little life tips. <laughs> What? Little life tips? In Mondstadt, if there's something you can't fix, or there's something you can't get clean no matter what you do, if you ever run into something you can't handle yourself, you just need to shout this name into the skies. No <laughs> And everything that's troubling you will be swept away in an instant. So this is one of the tricks to living in Mondstadt. Pretty so Noelle impressive. is the character that like comes in and saves everyone at the last second is what we're getting from this, which is actually kind of funny. Fischl makes a very unique impression, doesn't she? Unique is one way to put it, for sure. How so? Well, she travels together with a talking raven for starters. Yep. Well, I'm traveling with you. A talking chicken? It's not all that different. Still, Oz can also translate for Fischl. You, on the other hand... Way better than some bird. I love their little arguments are so funny. <laughs> How so? Well, um, uh, at least Paimon doesn't need wings to fly. And she's also a hen, so take that, Oz. Speaking official, she also claims to be a visitor from another world. We're similar in that way. We even bring a pet along with us. Pet? Now wait just a minute here. But her raven, Oz, he looks cool and is polite to boot. Yeah, he's very cool. More importantly, he can both scout and fight. Very useful indeed. Maybe I should make arrangements with Fischl to trade companions once in a while. What? For, I don't think say, Fischl would not take Paimon. Two at, a time. at all. It should be quite interesting. Hey, he's doing this just to annoy her as well. That's why they're told they're sibling coded, for sure, at this point. I think more best friends coded, I think, though. Um, there we go. How does a person become as rich, no, as super rich, as Lady Mingguang? Is that the only impression she gives you? Riches? Well, there's the huge jade chamber too. But isn't that also made of Mora? Well, you need an excellent mind. Well, Paimon's really good at giving people nicknames. You need to be very familiar with the workings of the markets. A serving of fisherman's toast goes for 1,025 mora, and no discounts, even on rainy days. You also need to be willing to work really hard. Okay, then. So, how do you make friends with a really rich person? <laughs> Paimon's like, how do, I, how do I find a rich man? <laughs> and you know what, Paimon? You go for it. You be yourself. You do it. Needs to drink blood? <laughs> That's not a zombie, Paimon. That's a vampire. Then, will she <laughs> transform during a full moon? I love that she never fully gets everything. Werewolves, Paimon, not zombies. Huh. As expected of a traveler, you really know a lot. Because you've been everywhere. So, yeah. What special things can zombies do? Exercises? Makes a lot of sense. So the ones that do exercises are zombies. Got it. I love the way like Chi Chi is just accepted as being a zombie. Um but like <laughs> like like I don't understand if there's other zombies in this world. It doesn't make much sense to me all the time, but like I do love that they make sense in this world somehow. No, 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 we shouldn't try. No, we shouldn't do that. Ah, <sighs> Paimon's gone. Well, whatever. I'm tired. Let's just sit here for a bit. I'm flying with you in my heart. Oh, he's tired. I imagine him being, I just always imagine him being like, Yona. <laughs> what sort of slime do you like the most? 
pyro slimes, I suppose. You can feel their warmth just by getting close. That's something you'll need in the winter. That's very practical, as expected of a traveler. What about you, Paimon? Paimon likes them all. They're all very tasty. Tasty? Hmm. <laughs> Turning slimes into bubbly, lovely, jubbly meals is the Paimon special. Well then, I suppose that's one more thing I can eat before you become emergency exactly. rations, huh, Exactly, exactly. Mm, Paimon would rather not be on that list at all. I do love, yeah, the conversations are so tied to each other, of course. Like, they're such best friends. Like, you even saw, like, with the Klee conversation, they very much quickly made it about Paimon being emergency food. Um... Like, with the same way, like, even with, like, the, okay, even with the razor thing, right? Like, look at this. Like, it's it very quickly became a conversation between them and what they know, you know what I mean? Like, I really feel like it, it is awesome like that. What did we, we, we stopped on, um, slimes, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Hilly Churls. Do you think that we're too harsh on the Hilly Churls? Well, sometimes we really do seem like children who just can't resist kicking the hornet's uh, nest. That's actually very true. We said this before. I think we're doing more than Yeah, just we go in and destroy it. the hornet's nest. The sleeper tribe. The hilly trolls sure have interesting tribe names. The sleeper tribe will take any opportunity they can to take a nap. Paimon's heard that their animal skin beds are really soft. Would you like to try them? Not going to try it yourself, Paimon? Paimon can sleep while floating. The air is the softest bed. Pretty sweet, huh? Just a little. Yeah. <laughs> We're not letting Paimon win this one, but it does sound pretty sweet. The meaty tribe? <laughs> These hilly churls pick the funniest names. The hilly churls of the meaty tribe make regular sacrifices. The altars they build are really huge. What do they pray for? For meat to eat every day. It is. It's an awesome wish, isn't it? I suppose I should have expected that answer. The Eclipse Tribe. So the Hilly Churls have normal sounding tribe names like these too. The Hilly Churls of the Eclipse Tribe are really mysterious. All the Hilly Churls of that tribe can draw an eclipse symbol. But rumor has it that only the Dada Sama Churl of the Eclipse Tribe knows why the eclipse symbol is so revered within their tribe. An eclipse symbol. Hmm? Did you say something? Uh, I was asking you what sort of soup you'd like to have tonight. Can't stop thinking about food, huh? Seems like you'd be more at home in the Meaty Tribe than the Eclipse Tribe. But anyway, Paimon wants boar soup. Thanks! So this is like a whole different, like, we have we met this tribe? But, like, they're gonna draw the symbol of the Eclipse. Um... I wonder, like, if this is, like, a more sophisticated version, or is this just people we've already met already? You know what I mean? Or if these are hilly children we've already met already. Paimon doesn't feel so good. What's the matter? Paimon hasn't opened the oh treasure God. chest oh in God. so long. Oh, God. If this keeps up... Ooh. If this keeps up, he'll one day get caught in a hunting trap with a single Mora as bait. Hey! Paimon floats, so that'll never work. I mean, we caught you with a fishing rod, so... Wow. We've really had a lot of good food recently, haven't we? You know what they say. Have food, will travel. Hmm. Won't you be unable to fly if you get Never bad? say that again to Paimon. Nope. Paimon never It wouldn't matter bad. if you did get a little chunky. <sighs> we love Paimon. So Paimon demands more food. Ever eating, but never growing. Don't you fail as emergency rations then? Yeah, yeah. Well, it sure doesn't look like you have any other No. Candidates. So Paimon so knows she can't be emergency rations, but she's like, hey, 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 I'll, I'm still emergency rations because she doesn't want to be kicked out. We'd never kick you out. Which do you like more, cats or dogs? I'm a cat person. Paimon. Oh. Ah, that's cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, Paimon's not a cat. <laughs> yeah, but you liked it for a second. People say that if you put a star conch close to your ear, you can hear the whispers of the It's ocean. actually very nice. 
Do you want to give it a go, Paimon? No need. Paimon just heard it. Oh? And what did the ocean say? The ocean said that it's time to eat, so let's go. Paimon wants some fisherman's toast. We should get something tasty to eat. If they're actually going to do rock, paper, scissors, it's going to be amazing. Paimon doesn't want to have to go get it. Shall we decide with a game of rock, paper, scissors then? Ooh, okay. All right then. Rock, paper. Super Paimon Tornado! <laughs> what? So this Paimon's the type of person who goes lava whenever you're doing it. Rock, paper, gun. Uh, she was that type of person. Okay. Okay, we know at least now. <sighs> Paimon's been working so hard recently. Any ideas on how to relax? Sleeping? Yep, sleeping's pretty good. Sleeping's boring. Yeah, but you have to, like, I feel like relaxing, really? you know, you have to allow yourself to be bored Paimon's a tiny bit, you know? Dizzy. That's the whole point. Having a chat with some friends? Uh, but those are all things that require thinking. And not thinking is more relaxing. And thus, the Paimon Paradox, famed in the histories of philosophy in Tevat, was put forth. Yep. Yeah, no, yeah, I think like feel like if you're relaxing there, you have to allow yourself to be bored a tiny bit, you know what I mean? And there's a ni there's a niceness about being bored sometimes, you know? Liu is cuisine is very different from that of Mondstadt. For example, you can hardly find spicy fried dishes anywhere in Mondstadt. That's why they say climate creates cuisine, you know? But wait, why do all of Tevat's slimes taste the same then? That's because you only know one way of cooking them. There you go. You gotta, gotta spice up your cooking. Wow, a weasel thief's backpack can really hide a lot of mora. Well, it's because weasels by nature enjoy collecting shiny objects. Paimon's heard that the origin of the weasel thieves has something to do with the treasure hoarders. Also, aren't crows the type to collect shinies as well? Yes, yes they are. Paimon wonders if Oz has <laughs> Bring a big stash of mora that he collects behind Fischl's back. Well, now that you mention it, Paimon, I wonder, do you? Uh, nope, nothing here. You won't find any more in Paimon. Oh no, she's, she's putting money in her shoes. She's putting money in her shoes. Paimon, have you ever read Vera's Melancholy before? Well, it sure sounds familiar. That book's pretty popular, and I've heard that the author made a tidy sum off of it. Paimon would love to make lots and lots of Mora. Hmm. It's decided then. Paimon will write an adventure story as well. I think you could at this point. <laughs> a tale of adventure. She could Paimon? at this point. Like she's been on so many adventures. Correct. It'll be a story in which the brave traveler defeats the dragon, saves the world, and then sits down with his reliable companion for ten servings of sticky honey roast. Ten. Uh-huh. A happy ending attracts the readers, after all. It's decided, then. We'll call it Paimon's Happiness. Wait, what? But the thing is, like, with, um... Like, with Paimon, is that I actually genuinely think that she could actually, um, write a good one. Even though I know she's, like, take the joking about it here, I do think that she's, like, an underrated adventurer, maybe. Have you ever had one of those... Super scary nightmares? Um, I've dreamed of falling through endless darkness without a wind glider. <gasps> I've also dreamed of my sister walking away from me while I'm unable to catch up to her no matter how fast I run. She tells me that I've come too late. Oh, yours are quite different from the ones that Paimon's had. Paimon's scariest dream was being eaten by a super giant slime. Of course that's your dream, but yeah, it's actually like pretty interesting. He's a, he, he obviously he thinks about his sister a lot, but he's also dreamed about his sister walking away from him, which like makes sense when we just saw that recent We Will Be Reunited story as well. Um, That like she is always like a distance away from him at this point, I suppose. Where do those treasure chasing Seely come from, I wonder? Maybe they grow out of the ground. Or maybe they fall from trees. Well, Paimon doesn't know where they come from, 
But where there are Sealy, treasure's not far away. Still, why do I feel a certain sadness every time they touch those treasures? Hmm? No, it's probably just my imagination. Well, if you don't want the treasure, Paimon can hang on to it for you, free of charge. No problem, you take it. Has anyone left a big impression on you during our recent travels? For Paimon, that's Sarah. Timmy. He's gonna say Timmy. Huh? Why him? His face comes to mind every time I've eaten a sweet madame recently. With sweet madame, like, pigeon? Really makes it hard to chow down. <laughs> you learn new things so quickly. You've already got such a good grasp of Tavat's language. You're a good teacher, Paimon. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe the quality of your nasty nicknames will improve someday. What monster made the deepest impression on you? Monsters, huh? Probably. It's Ooh, a feel nice. tiller, actually. Does a ruined guard really count as a monster? It's more like a machine. Paimon thinks that you can call anything that causes us trouble and needs to be defeated a monster. Just like how we call anything that can be hunted prey. Is that so? Well then, I think <laughs> I'm finally able to classify you now, Paimon. No. <laughs> this whole voice line has just been bullying Paimon you for like 40 lines. In. Therefore, you're a fish. I think he's also trying to like, yeah, he is joking around. I know he's joking around. And again, they do have that very best friend energy going about them. Hey, do that again! You know, that thing! Which one? The one where you make your weapon disappear with a swish, and then floosh! You make it appear behind your back again! Oh, that? Haven't you seen that a ton already? But Paimon hasn't figured out how you do it yet. Could you explain it? Well... Can you explain how you suddenly appear in front of me and then disappear just as suddenly? Uh, well, Paimon seems to have always been able to do this, but Paimon doesn't know how. I believe you could just probably Precisely. just explain to each other now. I believe that the art of putting my weapon away follows the same principle. Maybe it's this similarity that makes us such good friends. Maybe. I just think you're good friends because you'll have one brain cell that you share between the two of you, but that's me. What do you think of treasure chests? They're always like a dopamine for treasure chests. Behind by great travelers who once passed this way. Every time I open one and look at its contents, I can feel a certain kinship with those who came before. And that's how you get adventure experience. Look into Paimon's eyes. Something the matter? Kaya said that people's eyes will betray them. He can tell if someone is telling the truth or not just by looking into their eyes. Huh. Paimon loves fisherman's toast. That should be the truth. <laughs> well, that's also because you love everything that can be eaten. <laughs> Speaking of looking <laughs> she, she enjoyed that. Eyes, She's like, yeah, yeah, I do, I do. I remember one gaze that left a particularly deep impression on me. Whose gaze was that? A ruin guards really made me want to poke its eye out. Ah, Paimon's so bored. So tired. Oh, he's not going to imitate Paimon, well, is he? Since we're bored either way, want to imitate the other knights for fun? Huh? Isn't that a bit disrespectful? <laughs> I see you already have the knightly virtue of modesty and politeness. Very impressive. Hey, Paimon sees what you're doing. Cut it out. <laughs> but like, uh, like honestly though, like I, I think I think they're like it wouldn't be too disrespectful. But like, I honestly didn't expect this from Wonder though, because he, again, I guess we just we don't get a lot of his personality. We just have to like ascertain it from like his his voice lines and stuff like that. But it also makes him like snapping in the previous episodes even more interesting to me, because he's actually like a like. A really funny person. He's very charming in these voice lines. Uh, hmm? Are there pigeons around? No. Paimon's just hungry. 
What Paimon needs right now is a traveler who can whip up some delicious sticky honey roast. So, who's going to be the lucky traveler? Hmm? I, I really want to start try sticky honey roast. Oh my god, there's only two left. What? How did a genie that big get into Dory's lamp? Only one way to find out. In you go, Paimon. <laughs> Not a chance. There's no way Paimon would fit in there. <laughs> Okay, well, if you want, you he's can like, be the he's like, yeah, like, he'd be a bully if, if they weren't so close, Ooh, you know? Great idea! Paimon's down! You seem pretty excited about this. Uh, yeah! Paimon's been wanting to try this for ages! <clears throat> oh my god, she's trying to be a genie? <sighs> Didst thou oh no! <laughs> traveler from a distant land! <laughs> come on, come on! Now you have to grant Paimon three wishes! Paimon's first wish is... Um, bring Paimon lots of delicious food. No, <laughs> I don't think yeah, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that wishes. way. <laughs> Paimon was not expecting to see Clockwork Mecca dancing. As dangerous as it is to get too close to them, it sure is nice to watch them from a distance. <laughs> Imagine if they had ones that could sing and play musical instruments too. That'd be really cool. Then you'd just need some Mecca for the audience, and you'd have a show by Mecca. For Mecca. Uh, somehow that's a pretty scary thought. Anyway, Mecca are meant to do stuff, not sit there and watch a show. Oh, how about Mecca that can paint? Paima bits their paintings would look just like photos taken with a camera. Sounds like you could just use a camera. Oh, right, yeah, um, ugh. Paimon's brain stopped working. What about you? If you could make a clockwork mecha do anything at all, what would it be? Hmm. Travel guiding, perhaps? Bleep blorp. This is your guide bot speaking. Please go straight on. <laughs> See what I mean? He does have, like, even if it's, like, very Bleep silly charisma, he does have uh, a lot of charisma. Paimon's just remembered how much training you need before you can own a clockwork mecha. And how What, do you not like my impression? Also, who knows if they even work outside of Fontaine? <laughs> the best travel guide into Vat will not lose her job to some machine. Oh, she's worried she's gonna lose her job, of course. That's great. Okay, it was really, like, crazy. There's a lot of voice lines, so, like, you know, it is a little bit, like, I'll be honest, like, it is a little bit, like, like, I'm exhausted going through all of them, but it was all very, very fun. Um, my favorite ones are for sure Bennett, and I feel like we learned a lot more about Wander and his relationship with Paimon as well. Like, he's a lot more charismatic than I thought. A lot more charismatic than I thought. Um... Officials were obviously great to start off with as well. Obviously, we need to get to know more of these characters better to even get their voice lines. But I really feel like we had a good time with all of them. Goblins are really fun too. But yeah, Wanderers were great just for learning exactly more about Wander and Paimon's relationship. The chickens themselves. Um, yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you to Typhira2, Jamie Bull, Janet Banana, Normal Kara, The Ghost of Inazuma, Felicitas Felix, George, Candelaria, Eskun, Yuld, Radish, Pokegirl, Tedder, Fruity, Orange Bank, Summer Races, Death Trap, Anusta, Chibata Bread, and Malcolm Conde. And you can see the levels of our characters now if you want to see them just before we go any further. There it is. Uh, Jean, we have to still ascend. We have to get some dandelions and stuff like that and kill some more animal things for her. Um, Eula uh, is ascended to level 70. Bennett can go up to level 70 at any point. We have no level up books. Stop throwing rocks at him. Uh, yeah, that's where we're at.